Hello and welcome to High Rollers, a Dungeons and Dragons stream here on the Yogscast Twitch. Uh, unfortunately, we are not live live on our High Rollers Twitch right now, but we are hosting it. We're having some technical problems, hence the late start. Very sorry about this. Um, lots of things going on today, but welcome. Uh, I am your Dungeon Master Mark, Sherlock Humes as always. We have an exciting adventure ready for you today. Uh, we are missing a few players, so we'll just cut to the wide of everyone rather than doing individuals. And we'll just do a little group one once it changes. Um, but okay. we have <laughs> poor Tarnaxel <laughs> all, all on his own. That's why I wanted to cut to that shot because it's no, just no. Like, like the comparison. Of, like, you should have put the beholder next to you. Yeah, but also... Oh, uh, yeah. Get that arm down. Yeah. You're ruining my emotion. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Uh, Tom Hazel, everybody. Hello. On this side. Hi. And then we have Kim Hi. and Trot. Uh, we are down both Rhiannon and Katie, who are both away this week. Um, it was a bit touch and go if Katie was going to be here or not, so we didn't say earlier, but we knew Ram was going to be away. Um, so we are down two players today. Let's hope that our group fares a little better than some other ones this week. Um, no spoilers. <laughs> Hashtag no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Uh, a couple like of quick that. things to go over before we get started. Uh, the first one is, why don't we start with our wonderful sponsors, as Let's. always. Uh, big thank you to Brilliant and D&D Beyond. Brilliant is math and science done right. It helps you develop the logical reasoning and critical thinking skills to become better at problem solving. At the break, I've got another cool puzzle for you uh, to check out and to solve, and I'll have the solution at the end of today's episode, so you can check that out. Um, uh, check that out. Yeah, you've got the links I'm down there. I'm pointing at it. Pointing that way. There yeah. we go. Oh, you uh, touch fingers. And then also, D&D yeah. &D Beyond. Thank you, D&D &D Beyond. D&D uh, &D Beyond is the official digital tool set for Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. You can use the code HIGHROLLING to get 25% off all digital items, excluding the legendary bundle. I should say that for Brilliant uh, as well, the first 200 people to sign up um, using our link will get uh, a big discount on their annual subscription as well. You get 20% off. 20%? On the That's annual description decent. for Brilliant. Funny. And it's genuinely a cool thing to sign up for if you want to get better at problem solving, mm. you want to get better at math, you get better at critical thinking. Brilliant is amazing for that. Um, the other thing, D&D Beyond, they've just updated all their character sheets. Yeah. If you haven't checked them out already, yeah, they're really, good. really good. They've done another round of updates this week, um, just taking on loads of people's feedback. They are listening to everybody's feedback. I'm already really happy with what they're doing with it's that nice. sheet. Is nice. Is nice. There's that. Thanks to our sponsors. Second thing, Twitch Prime. If you've got an Amazon Prime, you might not know, you get a free Twitch subscription with it. You can use your Amazon Prime or your Twitch Prime sub to a channel. You can use it on the Yogscast. You can also go and use it on High Rollers D&D. You get loads of cool emotes. We've got emotes. loads of cool emotes. Um, I'm sure Look, people are spamming them in chat right now. We're unlocking more and more slots. We've got some more coming up. Check that out. Use Amazon Prime. Uh, check that out. Uh, it also expires every month, so make sure you just keep it going. Keep you re yeah. keep resubbed uh, on that. Merch! We have High oh, Rollers merch. Uh, we have dice, we have shirts, we have hoodies, we have loads of cool stuff. That's all on store.yogscast.com. And this weekend, uh, it's not High Rollers related, but Kim, why don't you tell them about the shirt you're Look wearing? Look at my bre I mean, my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So uh, basically, it was Bristol Pride uh, yesterday. Um, so the Yogscast re-released their Pride t-shirt. This is available on the store right now until the 20th of July, which is five days, people! Five days! So, um, yeah, if you go on to uh, store.yogscast.com, you can get this. And all profits are going to Stonewall, um, which is an LGBT charity. What's Thanks. wrong with you? He's putting dice up his nose Aww. while you were doing that very important right. read. But yes, so it goes to a wonderful, wonderful cause, and it is perhaps one of the finest Yogg's Cast t-shirts, I will say. It's pretty good. Um, so go buy it on store. We went to Thailand. Check that out. Yeah. Because of pride? Exactly. Yeah. So, Representing. <laughs> I mean, that's not the only reason why you should support the charity. But just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> we, did a, we did a speech. Quickly moving on, uh, don't forget, you've also, if you'd like to catch any of our previous episodes, if you're watching this and you're like, this is the first High Rollers episode I've ever watched, all of our VODs and all of our episodes go up on our own YouTube channel. They are no longer on the Yogg's Live channel. Dead Please plus. spread the word. It's on High Rollers d and is the YouTube channel name. All of our VODs get uploaded there. Please let people know. A lot of people are still like, where's the High Roller VODs? They're on YouTube That's and how they on all Twitch. Sound. Uh, you can check them out there. There's also a podcast, which Tom Hazel's going to tell you about. Am I? Uh, do you like podcasts? I like podcasts. No. Do you like ears? Because you like listening with them, right? 
podcasts. They go live Mondays and Thursdays in two halves. So first half goes up on Monday, second half goes up on Thursday. They are available on iTunes, SoundCloud. Uh, do you like Spotify? I like Spotify. It's on there too. Please, someone take over. I'm panicking. What about Google Play, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> it might. It's on. It might US be US like, Google Play or it, something. It's not available here. It might be. I don't know. Check. Just search. High Rollers D and D. Google. Uh, the other thing as well is if you do want to check us out on on the podcast, especially on iTunes, please do give us a rating and leave feedback. Yes. Um, yes. Ideally positive, but we'll listen to the negative stuff. I guess. <laughs> well, we'll read it and yeah. then we'll grumble about it. Um, and, but yeah, uh, please yeah. do rate us. It does help us a lot. Like if you can just give it like a rating and give us like a thumbs up, it helps yes. us get more recognition. I got one thing. Go on. Fan art. So, if you want to send us fan art, please use the email highrollersdnd at gmail.com. Send it to us. That way, specifically, the art that gets sent to our email will be in the video. We yeah. want to make sure that we're not taking stuff that people don't want shown in the video. Yes. So, or, like, yeah, it's like consent that you're letting us use it in the video, yes. that we can upload it to YouTube, all Absolutely. of that good stuff. So. Uh, so, I know it's an extra step. Sorry. Um, and I know you want to share it online. Do that freely. That's totally fine. We'll Just retweet make sure it. You also share it. Email it too. Yes. And when we have enough, there'll be a new fan art video. Yeah. Wait a minute. Retweet it. Where? On our Twitter at High Rolls DD. I'm not going to do that as well. Uh, there we go. It. Nailed, um, it. nailed it. <laughs> nailed it. Nailed it. You huh? <laughs> technically did just do it. Like, I did just do it. Yeah. You're right. Um, so I let's think get in there. Let's done just plugs for a power surge. Well, <laughs> let's. let's yeah, that's true. <laughs> wow. That, that fucking oh, joke. Damn. Nailed it. I'm Kobe. Like, <laughs> uh, so if, if st hopefully Steve is not feeling very well today, so I'm hoping he's at the at the desk so he can play our intro video and we can begin oh, yeah. this week's High Rollers D and D episode. <laughs> And we're back. That's a nice sudden, just jump straight back Bam. in. Bam! We're here. Uh, hopefully, you probably listened to all of us have that conversation about um, the smudge on the camera lens, but it's fine. Um, well, there we go. The now it's in the episode. A brief recap then of last week's adventure. The last time, you had been journeying across Erois aboard an airship called the Sparrowblade. One night during a thunderstorm during your journey, it was attacked by masked, mysterious assailants. You're n still not quite sure why the ship was attacked or to what uh, their objective was. However, the resulting chaos caused the airship to crash. It crashed onto a continent you now know is Suvona, into a place called the Bitterwood, an icy, kind of cold forest on the southern region of the continent itself. Clambering, uh, you escaped from the airship uh, using glide, uh, glide cloths, kind of like parachutes. Um, but one of the NPCs that you had rescued, a dwarf named Arvel, had kind of drifted off course. You set out to rescue him and discovered him being attacked by a group of wild elves. Uh, these kind of barbaric, shamanistic, tribal elves um, that are found across the lowlands of Erois. You managed to avoid an actual encounter with Sentry healing Arvel and saving him from death. Um, however, it cost Lucius some money to bribe these wild elves to go away and to leave you alone. Uh, and they kind of left with an ominous warning that you had paid for them to leave you this time, but that there were more of them and that their leader, uh, somebody called Kala, would not be as uh, easygoing. After that, you struggled to decide what to do, finding, your si finding yourselves in a strange wilderness that you don't know, um, in unfamiliar lands. 
uh, you took some time to think about what you wanted to do next, and it was eventually decided that you would go to the airship crash to see if you can scavenge supplies, look for survivors, um, and generally kind of assess the situation. You made your way there, and you encountered a pack of wolves, which you managed to scare off, not before they considerably hurt uh, poor Lucius, um, who had to be sort of uh, recovered or like saved and, and had to spend some time recovering. Yes, I was, yeah. Hiding medicated. Under a, hiding under a parachute or a glide cloth for a little while. Um, you searched the wreckage and you found a number of things, actually. You found some supplies, uh, food, uh, general kind of adventuring equipment. You found the body of the captain, who uh, on her person had a few different uh, bits and pieces, including a key, um, a pistol, a Thunderstone pistol, Thunderstone weapon, and a rapier, uh, which Ayla found. Um, but Quill and Nova, you also discovered a key component of the airship itself, some sort of nodule or command module that would uh, generate uh, magic to help keep the ship afloat. Um, after that, you then discovered that Vala, a young girl that had been traveling with the NPCs that you'd saved, had basically followed you and was watching you. And after kind of having a brief conversation with her about you know, why she'd done it and the, the dangers of such, you, uh, Quill, in fact, specifically, heard a bunch of these wild elves um, appearing from the north into the, air, the clearing where the airship crash was. And you were spotted by a falcon-like creature, a kind of bird with icy white and blue feathers um, that spotted you. And the last thing you heard was the bird's squall uh, kind of cry um, out to alert its masters. Um, you hear this kind of echoing like, ah, through the woods, like it kind of echoes uh, throughout the haunted trees. And you, you hear the, the kind of rapid movement of people becoming alert that something is amiss. Um, you hear shouts and cries in Elven, something along the lines of like, over there! Um, and people beginning to move. And my first question is, what would you like to do? Run. They can't see us. They At this moment, so to set the scene, you are basically in the woods a short distance, maybe like 80 feet away from like an, uh, an earthed embankment, which was caused as the ship kind of plunged into the ground and kind of pushed all the earth up onto the sides. So they would have to come up this embankment and then come down, and then they'd probably be able to see into the woods. Um, but it's not far. You reckon they're probably no more than sort of 100, 110 feet away. We need to go immediately. Run. Yep. Run. Uh, uh, carry me. Vala? Uh, Ayla, Ayla kind of like grips her hammer and is like looking back, and she kind of looks around at you lot, sees how injured Lucius looks, sees how injured Quill looks, just like, fine. Um, Sentry picks up Valor and is like, come with me. And she just like picks her up and like throws her onto her to her shoulder. Valor's like, hey, what are you, I can run. And like Sentry's already like got her like in one arm. Sprint. Like, do -do 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 -do, like the Terminator, Terminator run. run. <laughs> <laughs> like just one hand like this. <laughs> Trees. Um, okay, so you guys all just basically want to just completely book, book it. Really. Yeah, this yep. is going to sound like a dumb question. Sure. Do eagles speak Auron? To I eagles, gonna, no, uh, animals don't speak. It's okay. Animals aren't intelligent to speak. They don't have any uh, it's not, it's, um, you wouldn't, it, it looks like a bird of prey, oh, yeah. uh, but it's got white and blue feathers. It's not a falcon. I was wondering, like, would you understand that? Uh, yeah. Oh, the cry it's, That's just an animal cry. Okay. It's not an actual speaking language. Right. That makes sense. It's just um, a human screaming. <laughs> okay. So oh. if you guys run, what I'd like is for everyone to make a constitution saving throw. Yes. And I'm pretty sure I know... Ayla and centuries. Where are saving things oh, on this now? Goody gumdrops. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking six. Oh, fuck. Oh, and that one. <laughs> okay. Well, um, okay. where are the saving throws now? They're at the top. Okay. Constitution. So four. Cool. So 12, yes. four. Six. Six. Excellent. So <laughs> together we don't even make it. <laughs> <laughs> you run. Um, Fuck you know. You, it's not that you don't you fail to run with your saving throws. You, <laughs> I forgot how to run. <laughs> <laughs> We're just there, like you, on the legs. You begin sprinting through this kind of heavy wooded forest. Now it's not icy. There's no snow here, but the ground is is dead and there's a lot of underbrush. Um, the trees are very thick as well, and you just begin sprinting, just trying to get away. Uh, you're not moving stealthily, and it does sound like they are in pursuit. Um, you can hear them sort of like clambering up and running after you. You run for about five minutes when uh, Nova and, uh, and Lucius, you are ragged and out of breath. Like you are running, like the sudden burst of sprint and energy, like the fights beforehand, it's all just kind of wiped you out of your, your, your stamina and you're desperately struggling. You gain level of exhaustion, the two of you. Um, 
Where, I think how... you might be able to do that in, in uh, conditions, but conditions. just keep in mind that you have one level exhaustion. of exhaustion. Yeah, got it. Um, so that provides disadvantage on ability check. checks. Does okay. guidance work on saving throws? It says one ability check of my choice. Ability check, then no. Okay, fair enough. Okay, you can see that Sentry and Ayla uh, seem fine. They don't seem flagged. Quill, you're a little bit... You know, but you're you're running okay. Your your stamina's uh, running dry. Okay. Yeah. It sounds like one of maybe one of the elves has kind of fallen, is kind of suffering in the same way that Nova um, and Lucius is. You can see them kind of flagging. Occasionally, you hear kind of like shouts and cries, like that way, and like. But you can also hear this eagle overhead, this bird of prey, just still kind of like tracking you, following you, like ah, uh, letting out How cries. How high up is it? Uh, it's like I mean, probably just above the treetops, so sort of like, what, 60, 70? Uh, you can, you'd have to stop running for a, yeah. a brief moment, so it would probably slow you down probably a little bit. Probably be enough for them to catch up with me, wouldn't I mean, it? not necessarily, they were quite a distance away, but if you slow down now, and then you wanted to try and run away or hide or something like that, it'll make it harder. But you can try, for sure. <gasps> you can see this kind My of, and it's a, it's a large bird of prey, it's not like a small falcon, it's But even though we're in the trees, huge. can it like, track us through the seems, trees? Seems to be able to, yeah. Like. Son of a Ain't gonna make this it. is a bird of prey that is used to hunting things yeah. like field mice and stuff like that, like finding... Mouse. Huh? Not a mouse. Yeah, you're easier to see than a mouse. <laughs> yeah, far better. Wearing a big blue coat as well. Damn so it. What, what do you want to do? Do you want to keep running? At this point you can um, hear them like, you can hear like, you might even at this point, you might even see like the occasional arrow, like it doesn't hit, but it just kind of like... Whoosh, and thuds Does into it a sound tree. like they're getting, they're gaining on us? Um, it sounds like the, it sounds like most of them aren't tiring, and you are, <laughs> like, you can feel your your you know breath running out already. Um, I would also probably at this point, if all of you guys can make a survival check as well for okay. me. Okay. Why do you hate us so? I don't hate you. I just want to keep a track of perhaps how well you can. Oh my! <laughs> I also rolled a natural one. What? <laughs> 14. 14. For podcast listeners, <laughs> Kim is currently in a pose of despair with both hands <laughs> over her face. After two natural Double ones. Perhaps use a different dice. So that is a different dice. So that's a six on total. Okay. I've got, I've got, um, so you begin running, you're running for the, like, you're continually running and you're kind of looking around, trying to keep an eye on it. And all of you, Lucius, you have a vague idea of roughly where you are. But Quill and Nova, you suddenly find yourselves like you don't know where you are. Like you've just run Not from a the city airship crash. Girl. <laughs> like, are we split off? Uh, at this point, like you guys are running through. I would say right now you're vaguely aware of each other are, but you two don't know where Ayla and Sentry and and those guys are. You kind of maybe aware of like where the three of you guys are, but you're also you're turned around. Like you're not quite sure if you've run west or like. How far south you've gone? Like oh, crap. you've just um, lost that kind of awareness of where in these woods you are. Like compared to like where you left Yusuf and Arvel and Corin and those guys, where the airship crashes. They were. We left them somewhere else, didn't we? Yeah. They're from about fifteen minutes away from where things. Um. So yeah, what do you want to do? Keep running, trying to hide. Knowing I'm exhausted, mm -hmm. I'm going to try and hide in a just the most hidden thing possible. Okay. Whether it's like a hole under a tree. Okay. Or a okay. bush. So I'd say so you I'm getting can see desperate. you can see Quill and Nova are like looking around and don't seem to know where they are and I'm you're not even point, sure like, if they know where they where you guys are. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> you can speak. Hide. Okay. Uh, and can I look around to see if I can find anything? Or? I mean, I mean, there's woods. There's like fallen trees every now and then. Trees. There's like um, thick bushes. There's like little divots. Like like the the ground is quite hilly. Like there are like almost like little. Uh, Divots you could try and hide under and pull brush over you. You could just try and hide in the trees. Um, hmm. Um, I guess if you're already doing it, then... I'm I, hunkering down, finding something. Then I'll, I'll tumble over a log and just sort of... Are, are, are the logs big? Like, could I lay down Shuffle behind one them? Of them? Yeah. Or, yeah, sure, yeah. Uh, yeah. Some of them, some of the trees are massive. These kind of, not redwood size, but massive pine trees. Like, really thick white bark as well. 
very, very tall um, green pine needle kind of like leaves and stuff like that. Okay, I'll tumble over one of those and just like scoot Try underneath. And, and like wrap yourself up with your wing, or, like your one yeah. wing, kind of like cover yourself as best you can. Yeah. Are you going to try the same thing, Nova? Excellent. I'd like to think though, like with the two natural ones, part of that is because she's just going, ah, where's my book on this? Someone told me about this. I learned about this once. What to do when you read okay. those? It will being chased. And then you just ah. watch like Quill just dive under a log and like yeah. throw his wing over himself and like maybe pull like a little bit of brush over yeah. him and things like that. Mm -hmm. You see Lucius like, there's like a, an, like a hollowed out log that he crawls inside of. Perfect. I'm, I'm just gonna uh, learn by doing, learn by doing, and then yeah, go okay. after another log and uh, try and because, do the same, like dig myself in. Because yeah. Nova's panicking, I'll just say, just keep quiet. If you stay quiet, they'll, they'll never spot us. And that will kind of be a bardic inspiration. Sure. Yeah, um, sure. Bardic I need inspiration. it right now. <laughs> so you yeah, get exactly. a d6. Uh, so take my bardic inspiration dice. Whoops. Thank you. Okay. Um, and I use this on ability. You can use it on you... an ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. There you go. Uh, so the that is going to be stealth checks. Um, Nova and Lucius, you are at disadvantage for being exhausted. Like you're Excuse breathing, me. you're having to like, <gasps> like control your breathing. You... I left my briefcase on the outside of the log. That's what this is. Okay. It's just a shining stealth. beacon. Oh, right. Sure. <laughs> Let's see if they notice it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I add a d6? Sure. Oh, wow. Six, um, wait, okay, six. So I rolled a two, that's my lowest, plus a six, so that's eight, plus three, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. Five. Okay. <laughs> We're dead. So, this is what happens. Okay. Um, Are you all hidden? <laughs> you, like, you all hide yourselves, and there is this moment of just stillness. You hear Sentry and Ayla and Vala like try and do the same. They they dart off into the woods. Um, you think that Ayla might have climbed up a tree or something like that to try and hide. Um, Sentry just almost seems to duck down into the bushes and kind of use her like natural state to kind of try and you know blend in as best she can. And you kind of lose track of each other for a moment as you're just focusing on hiding. Like you've you've kind of covered yourselves up. You're like just looking up at either the sky or inside of a log, or you're like clustered amongst a bunch of rocks or things like that. And there is just these beats where you can feel your heart beat. And you two, you're like <sighs> these deep, ragged breaths, and your heart is pounding, and you can feel like the rushing of blood around your ears, and you begin to hear like crunch of pine leaves as boots kind of pace around. You hear a, <coughs> this bird kind of flying up ahead. <laughs> you crunch, crunch. Nova, you feel something grab the back of your neck. Oh. Lucius, you're like peering out of a log hole, and this kind of tribal tattooed face with these Celtic rings <laughs> just looks in. <laughs> and you can see he just kind of grins. <sighs> and then he just reaches in with a hand, and you can see that it's all covered in like furs and leather wraps. Um, I'm gonna try and scuttle back. You scuttle away from him as he's like reaching towards you, <laughs> and you feel you're like you bump into something. At I'm gonna the try back. and put a, a coin in his hand. <laughs> so well, you you bump, you kind of scoot back, and, and then you feel something coin. grab your legs and oh. pull you oh. from out under the I'm, log. I'm just gonna scream, stranger danger, stranger danger! Uh, you feel like somebody trying to like wrap a hand over your mouth <laughs> and trying to grab you, basically. Um, do you want to give me a strength check? Disadvantage. <laughs> Disadvantage. <laughs> Guess what my strength ability modifier is at the moment, Mark. Yes. Minus very two. low. Minus two. You're not a strong boy. Where were you? <laughs> With disadvantage. I just rolled a 17 and a 15, so 15, 14, 13. Okay, so you're fighting this guy off. Like, you can feel him, like, you can see this man, this kind of wild off, is trying to, like, put a, like, stop you from yelling, um, and is, like, fighting you off and stuff. Cool, you can hear this. You can hear Lucius and Nova crying it, and screaming. I mean, you can probably peek over. They don't seem to have noticed you, but you're like peeking over and looking around. You can't see Sentry or Ayla anywhere. Stranger uh, danger! Stranger danger! Very weird to find a silent to you, but okay. Uh, and they just like pull you out and they're like in Elvish. So what have we got here? Uh, look at this. And he like turns you over Lucius and you can see this kind of wild elf and he's got like a long curved sword on his back. Ah, uh, city boy. Oh, thank God. Uh, I'm with the other wild elves, you see. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very nice try. He like looks up. Shaman, what should we do with them? How many are there? Uh, so you can see there are two have grabbed Lucius. One's grabbed you. 
Uh, there is another one with a longbow, just kind of like looking around, like kind of suspiciously. Um, you're not sure where the others are, but he's look like he can hear or he knows that something's around, but he's not sure where. And then the shaman is at the far end, and you can see he's covered in tattoos. Like almost all of his skin is just partly tattooed. You can see some of it is of like almost like tribalistic animals, like bears and wolves. Some of it is this kind of Celtic ring knot pattern. Um, some of it appears to be like thorns. Um, all around like his arms and he's got different like wooden like little totems and bone fetishes and things like that all over him and he's just like we take them back take them back to Kala uh, we will finish salvaging the broken ship and then take them back to her there's no point honestly uh, I'd be too much trouble <laughs> you just get like slapped like not enough to do a point of damage but like <laughs> quiet <laughs> You're out I just start now. sobbing. <laughs> Softly start sobbing. Um, uh, Nova, like with you, like you can see one of them pulls like a kind of ant deer antlered, like handled knife and is just holding it at your throat, like, no more noise. Um, this kind of like faint whispering voice just kind of like looks at you and it's like holding you. And the other one's got your arms, basically. Um, and yeah, and uh, yeah, they're going to basically start pulling you away at this point. Stranger. Well. Honestly, there's not much I can do. Yeah, I mean, I'm full health, but... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna maybe bargain. Okay. Yeah, what do you want to say? Like, yeah, at this point, and Quill, you can hear all of this going on, you can see them basically being dragged away. Mm -hmm. So, But you don't see the other two taking any steps or anything right now. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's be rational here. Uh, how many How many are around me? Uh, there's two around you, but then there, there's five in total. Look. Uh, the shaman holds up his arm and the big bird that was flying overhead just <laughs> and lands. And you can see it's massive. It like, like its claws take up huge parts of its arms and it's this big, heavy, white feathered bird of prey, but almost like an icy blue beak. Let's, let's be rational, right? You're, you're a wild what elf. Is rational? It's a... Uh... Let's be Our logical. Ration, like food. No, no. You say that we eat you, yes. Oh, ideally not. Because that would be barbaric. Yeah. Who does that? Really? Out you here, here Lucius. you do anything to survive. How about the following? If you hand me over to your leader, they're going to take all the money away, and what are you going to get paid? Nothing. How about I just pay you directly now under the table, so to speak, and we died, and you couldn't find our bodies. Make a persuasion, but with disadvantage, because there's certain elements that you don't know about these guys. Woo! Also, at disadvantage anyway, because of exhaustion. Yeah, it's true. Uh, what is it? Persuasion? Persuasion. Actually, it's not a saving throw. Oh, it's a ability check. Yeah. Uh, Plus five? 20. 20? Oh. The shaman looks, and he... I don't want money. But he looks at like all your gems. You, you know magic? Oh yes, quite adept. I you have, to... and he like looks at you. Yeah. She's very sparkly. Give me, I want power. And the others, you can hear them begin to protest like, shaman, what are you doing? Color one, and then he just like looks at them and he holds up his hand and the tattoos begin to pulse with power and vines begin writhing out of the ground and like almost r curling around this guy's boots. And the guy like looks down, he's like, quiet. Oh, you seem to be quite powerful already, but can you do this? And I, I do a cantrip of... Huh? I do not want magic tricks. Give me something. But... <laughs> and I'm gonna... Uh, what have I got left? Firebolt. Okay. What, it's a at cantrip. him? Or just no, no, no. Into the air? Just, okay. Like a firework. He just like looks, he's just... He throws the, the bird up and it kind of flies up and lands on a, on a tree. And you can see the bird is also looking around. Um, yes, yeah, impressive, right? Uh, the power of fire. He just looks, he just rolls his eyes, holds out his hand. <laughs> it ignites into flame. Look, I'm exhausted. You know what it's like. Pat just them down. Bah. And then you can see the others begin searching. What do you guys have on you? Um, I have that briefcase. Mm. Do you want to just Yeah, read sure. Thing? Thanks, D&D &D Beyond. 
I have an arcane focus on my hand, a signet ring, and I think a backpack of some kind. A scroll of pedigree. A scroll of pedigree. What's that like? Pedigree. It's just like basically, it's like, a, <laughs> like an identity. It's like a okay. like a passport. I'm a it's, a very it's almost like a posh like, Gust Haven. Yeah, it's like passport. a like right. a little ID passport. card. Yeah, basically, it proves that he is who he says he is. Um, they go through your things. They pull out like a backpack and they start rummaging through it. Um, but he doesn't like the shaman. Looks over and he's like, Pfft, spits at most of it. Uh, but there's two things which he on you have on you that he's taken an interest in. Your arcane focus for Lucius and Tian Gong on your back. Like he looks at it and he's just like, and this sword, I like this. And you can feel Nova in your head as he holds it, just this pulse. You begin to feel this emotion of like danger, a when, like the sword knows that it's not, it's in uh, being at risk. Yeah, thanks bud. Um, <laughs> and it just is like, and you can feel it pulsing in your own head. Like you almost cut, you're looking around and you can see it glowing with power, but nobody else seems to notice. But you can see this blue energy kind yeah. of like boom, boom. Um, and then, guessing... yeah, on you, on Lucius, they just begin taking the arcane focus off your hand. Oh, no, don't do that. It's, uh, it's, it's inert. <laughs> <laughs> they just bam, slap you again. Uh, he looks at it and he like examines it closely. You wouldn't understand how it functions without training. And, like puts it on. Power. I understand power. Uh, as he's doing this, the eagle swoops down and lands right on the log above Quill. <laughs> and it like, you see its head just like poke round. <laughs> uh, and like the shaman turns his head, the one with the longbow then begins like moving up and like peers over the log and then just aims the bow. Oh! Another oh. one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, who are these guys? <laughs> who are you? Just like points the line. <laughs> okay. Up, Birdman. Okay. Nice, <laughs> nice. I'm <laughs> having a sleep. <laughs> who are these guys? He looks. <laughs> the shaman is like. <laughs> <laughs> looks around. He like gathers things. He's like. Mm. You are very smart. Thank you. I've been educated at Gusthaven. I take your things. Hmm? Maybe we let you go. What I thing? think about it. What things? He like take, he's got the arcane focus in his hand, and he puts it in like a leather. Honestly, pouch. without Tiang Gong, he like tucks no, into his he belt. Take he tucks no. it into his belt. No. Like literally tucks it in. Um, and you've got these guys like all stood around you at the moment. I will warn you. You need to keep that boxed and sealed, Why? and away from people because without proper training. It will explode. It's a very Tyrion Lannister voice you're doing it. Yes. Um, but like, <laughs> it's my yeah, persuasion more for, for it. Uh, sure, you can make a deception check for me on that. But you, uh, with disadvantage because of the exhaustion. You can feel like you're so tired. <laughs> Four. Uh, nine. Uh, he just like grins. He's just like, <laughs> maybe you can't control power and then the flames he brings up again and they die out. But I can. Yes. And he yes. just keeps it. Fair enough, you're quite powerful. He I looks over at the bird. Kind of like still hold, like, I, I'm not resisting, but like as they're taking it, I'm just like, no. Yeah, just no, take it out just, of your grip and like try, tuck it away. No. Uh, the, they move over to Quill and they do the same thing, they search. You've got two scrolls on you, right? I have two scrolls. Yeah, yes. they find those and they kind of look at them and they're like, shaman, magic words, runes. He's like, bring them. You know, examines, rolls those up, tucks them into his belt. Uh, I mean, and he okay. looks. Mm. You serve. You are made by the sky god Hesper. Yes. Hesper does not. He has shunned these lands. Oh well, I'm here. Yes. Perhaps, perhaps you will make a fine dinner. Dinner? No, no. Gamey. Very, um... Skinny. Skinny. One wing down, too. Not a very good dinner. The wing's the best bit. Not even good for stock. He, like, no. looks around. Disgusting, in fact. <laughs> Haven't washed in, like, six days. He looks. We have your things. I will not take you back. We found you dead. 
Nice. Uh, he will take the food rations as well. Um, I just remembered that you had food rations. He's like, Cute. we'll take these. <laughs> I'm sobbing again. <laughs> and then, yeah, they'll just basically throw you to the ground. Wait. If we are to procure more magical trinkets for your pleasure, because we like giving all our things to you, where can we find you? <laughs> <laughs> he just rolls his eyes. Uh, and just kind of like looks at you. You are lucky I do not kill you. No, I funny. would gladly kill your kind for your abandonment of the land. Abandonment? Yes. Atelicus has taught us long. This land has shaped us. We chose to be here. And he just kind of grins like you with a cock. And you can see these teeth all kind of like, kind of partly filed and fanged and some of it's brown and blackish. And then he just kind of like, you want my He's like, he just dismisses you and he's like, come, we will scavenge the ship now. Leave them to die in the wilderness. And they begin moving off. And yeah, you just, you can feel this like link of power just beginning to fade as Tiangong gets taken away. I'm just, I'm, I don't know, I'm gonna like start following them, but just like, just genuinely start crying. Mm-hmm. Like just genuinely, like not like Lucius is No, you're like I'm actually just like, like Yeah, upset. like it feels like something has been taken from me, like a part of me has been taken. No, no, Nova, you, come back. So Quill, like as you're now up and looking around, um you can see Ayla is like in the trees. Like you can see her like crouched down, like you can see she's mostly hidden. Yeah. But she's like looking at them like, what do you want me to do? Like should we go? And you can, like, Sentry you can't see, but she must be nearby, like... But at this point, they're just gonna leave, and if you start following them, they will literally turn and, like, point bows. Um, from a player point of view, mm-hmm. because Tiangong is essentially my um, arcane focus, mm-hmm. that means now I can't do any spells? Or... So, um, any, any spell that requires a um, material okay. component, you can't. Um, but the the nature of it is you've already made the pact. Like you still have access to some of the power, but yeah, like you need him as a focus or spell components. Like if you can find like ways to kind of like make use of the material components without the arcane focus. Like some some spells might require like a piece of ice yeah. or salt, a pinch of sulfur. Um, if you could find those things, you could still cast the spells, but Tiangong lets you kind of like, and the same with the, the arcane focus for Lucius, is it lets you not have to worry about those things, you just channel yeah. your own power to do it. What I can about do my cantrips. Eldritch Blast, yeah. Yeah, if that it doesn't have a material fire. component, no. then then you can and still use it. Dead. I would say that if Tiangong gets too far away, you yeah. probably would lose that ability. Okay. Um, like if it was on like another plane or like miles and miles away, yeah. you wouldn't have that ability. But so I mean, that, eventually that, you won't have to worry because eventually you should be able to just summon him into your hand. But um, I mean, if you give him one. <laughs> so yeah, at this point, like there is a moment of like you kind of quill. You're the only one that can see Ayla like positioned above them, like with the hammer waiting. You're, but it looks like these yeah. guys are just going to head off, and like you can see Nova and Quill are exhausted. Uh, Nova and Lucia, sorry, are exhausted. <laughs> I hate this place. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. That's my favorite arcane focus. I'm just kind of like, just sort of like, I, I can't, I, I If can't. you go after it again, like there's a th- an arrow thuds into the ground. Like, I'll stop, just but I'm like, I can't, it's. <laughs> okay, Lucius, this focus, is it replaceable? Yes, I've got six. Uh, good, well, no, but this. But they're in no, your table. I can't. Not at all. I can't. That blade is everything to me. And you can see, like, I'm full on crying now. Like, I'm like, got tears down my eyes. How far away are they? Uh, I'd say that at this point, like, maybe like 40, 50 feet away. Oh, God. Um, okay. Yeah, you can see that, yeah, there's uh, four, four elves, uh, yeah, this shaman, and then, the, and then the, the hawk. Is there any sight of sentry? Um, she must be nearby. You can hear Vala probably okay. breathing. Um, probably from like a series of bushes. Like, yeah, you could, you if you wanted to, you could, you'd think that they'd back you up in a fight. But I don't think, I don't think we can do it. But yeah. I'm just gonna sit, I'm, I just, like from an RP point of view, Nova is just lost. Yeah, like she, there is down. no point looking to her for decisions because she is just lost. Yeah, no, that's and when the arrow thuds into the ground by her, she's just gonna sink down onto the ground. And it's just, like a realization of like, yeah. if you go after them, they're gonna kill you probably. Yeah, or try and to. I can't, I can't get it back, like right now. <laughs> well, this just won't do. Um, 
I don't know what to say. We we can't we can't go on. Um, okay. So this so if you like a few more moments pass and they just kind of vanish off into the woods. Yeah. Um, what do we do, Quill? And eventually, like after a few minutes, like Ayla climbs down, Sentry emerges, like Vala is like following closely behind her. Uh, well, I, that could have gone differently. Yes. But, but I lost my arcing focus. She lost her hex blade. Whatever it's called. Is it? <laughs> yeah, you don't know it's called a hex blade. Her blade. As far as you're concerned, it's just a sword. Her yeah. sword. It's a very nice looking sword. Um, Sentry just kind of looks around, it's just like, well, if there is nothing that we can do right now, we should probably find somewhere to rest. You are injured, Lucius. Mm -hmm. uh, you seem tired. Quill, you are also injured, and yeah. I believe that we none of us have any magical energy remaining. I have nothing left. Ayla's like, we'll just go after him. We'll just find, we'll rest, we'll get some sleep, get your powers back, and then we'll go after him and get our stuff. Yes, but without my arcane focus, I don't have the components. So you can't do anything without that. Oh, I could gem. do some things. Yes. Then there you go. Look, this is, and she just kind of like, hefts the hammer onto her shoulder like. It was my favorite, I, I broke it in. Well, there's no time for favorites here. It's like you either get, you take what you want back, or you let them have it. That's how these things work. That's how this world works. Can you track them? She looks around like, probably. I mean, we know, Quill, you saw like a camp, right? They're probably headed there. Uh, well, yeah, um, it could be the one they're headed to. I don't know if they have multiple camps. Maybe, but it's a place to start looking. That charm looked mighty powerful. I mean, he seemed, he has some magic, but... He had fire like me, and also, he vined things. I can't do that. And also, then that kill him first. That wasn't if, Kara either. Whoever he is, he serves someone else who could be more powerful. Yeah. Well, then we catch them when they're asleep. We kill them then. I'm sick of fighting, if I'm honest. I got bitten in the leg. Then you need to stop fucking crying about it. And she like looks at you. It's like, really hard once the water uh, won't start flowing. <laughs> Sentry's like, there, there, Lucius. Oh, thank you. Sentry's here for me. Vala just kind of looks. He's like. I mean, yeah, it does kind of seem like you either let them take your stuff or we maybe we could steal it back, like we could sneak in without them noticing and take it. Not particularly stealthy. Well, maybe somebody is. I don't, I mean, it just, if we don't want to fight, then that's yeah, the only other option, I isn't could, it, really? Possibly. I'm just still, like, kneeling, like, staring after them, and I'm, I'm kind of half listening, and when she says stealing, I'm just going to say, that is what I will do, and I will do it on my own, or I will do it with you, but I need him back. Well, we need Nova with us to get through with this entire thing anyway, so I suppose... I mean, look, we're going to have to deal with those elves at one point, right? They keep showing up, they're obviously infested in the area. We're going to have to deal with them at some point. Either we get past them somehow, we sneak in, take your stuff back and we get out, or we kill them. And, conveniently, they are on the way to the river, which is where we're headed anyway. We rest. Let's go we find take our stuff. Let us sentry like kind of looks around, it's like, let us find the others, the priestess and her friends. We will rest with them. We are she has some magical healing as well that may be of use. I should have brought ten to you. Father's just like, Yeah, Sister Yusuf, she'll help you if if I mean she owes you that much. Uh, I mean I can help sneaking. I'm pretty good at being quiet. I mean, none of you really noticed me until the well, Mr. Arakoko over here did. Vala, That's true. My dear. Yeah. We can't possibly send a young child. I'm not a child. A I'm young 14. Little... Still, how old is that for humans? I don't. She's more than capable. Well, I mean, yeah, I can try and sneak in and, and take it back if it's that important. It's okay. And she kind of like looks at you, and you can see that she, you can. She can see that you're obviously really upset, and she's just like, yeah, like those people shouldn't just be able to take something from somebody. Like we just take it back. Never. I know the finest blacksmiths in Gusthaven. No. Once Daddy gets here, once he knows that the airship's gone down... This is different. But, uh, we this could... is different. How is it different? Why is it different? Sentry looks at you as like, it is a nice sword, but is it special to you? Yes. How so? Does it belong to somebody you cared for? We have a bond. I found him. You... Him? Him? The sword? I found him in a crashed skiff that belongs to the Court of Shadows, to the Remnant. Uh, Wait, it belongs to the Court of Shadows? The ones that attacked us on the Skyship? He belongs to me now. It could be an evil entity. He's not. 
essentially Luke looks at you as like a skiff, one of their, uh, one of the vehicles from their ships. Yes. Hmm. It was Curious. crashed near Vortensar and I found him. Does it, does it, does it talk? If you call it a he, does it have a name? He's called Tiangong. No. Oh. That is a strange name. I have never heard such a name before. Is, wait, did you? Ayla looks very confused at this talk of talking. I'm going <laughs> to point to Quill and be like, did, did you steal? You don't, I don't know if you see it. You can do a perception thing. <laughs> I, I probably see it. <laughs> yeah, Quill sees it. It's where the Nova would, but you'd both be at disadvantage. I'm, so. I'm not even, I'm too, too distraught yeah, yeah. Yeah. to notice. For the podcast, I was pointing at my brain as if she's gone. <laughs> cool, cool. Cool. Yeah. Um, did, did you Did you steal uh, Tian Gong? Sorry, I you? didn't steal him. Right. He was on a crashed, abandoned ship. Oh, so it wasn't Court of Shadows owned. It was procured by them, potentially. No, it was one of their ships. Oh. It was an archaeological site. That's what I do. I explore. But that's what I mean. It, 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 it's, it's, it's their sword. Is that, could that be why they attacked in the first place? I don't know, but he didn't come for me. He was right next to me on the ship, and he, he saw me use the sword, and he didn't come for me. That's true. Val wow, kind of just like goes quiet, like looks around at everybody else. Sentry is just like, it is interesting. There are, there were always discussions when I was fighting the Court of Shadows on how they powered their devices. Uh, there was always talk of, um, they had, they had weapons and armor that was beyond any of our understanding, even beyond Siaskas and the other gods. Well, buddy, fright, fright damn it, we'll get it back. Yes, we bloody well will, won't we, Quill? Yes, we, won't we? Bloody well will, yes. yes. Finally, at least, I'm deciding. Well, yes. let's go find the others and find somewhere to rest. We need, you need some sleep, we need some rest, and we'll go after it. Is Maybe we should wait until night and then break in when they're sleeping. Like, we'll also need to somehow figure out how to get rid of that, uh, that bow as well. Uh, I've got an idea. It's called a bow and an arrow or magic blast. I think I can still do that. Okay, well, that's perfect. That's one way. The nearer I am to the sword, I think I can still do some spells. Brilliant. So you will also be able to locate it then. Would I be able to, Mark? Maybe. Well, if you try. I don't know. I'm still figuring things out. I, I, I don't know the answers to all of this. I'm a scientist. Well, you know. let's take one thing at a time. As my nanny used to always say, you break the big problems down into small little chunkies. And then you take the first little chunky, and then you, once you figure that one out, you can work to the next chunky. Okay. So the first chunky is we need to rest. Agreed. Agreed. Please stop saying the word chunky. Why? Weird. In uh, that case, let's head back. Let's find the others. All right. Ayla looks around. Yeah. She's like, okay, yeah. We run off a little bit to the south, but I think I know how we can get back. Follow the sound of flowing water. No, that's wrong. Um, right. No water here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Complete idiot. Uh, <laughs> so with Ayla's help, you guys can make your way back to where you left uh, Sister Yusuf, Brother Corin, and um, Arvel. Uh, you can see that they've kind of tucked themselves away, and you can see uh, Sister Yusuf is, is kind of reapplying the bandages to Arvel's wounds and, like, helping reset the splint. And he's like, God damn it. <laughs> You wait, as soon as we get to a, a temple or a priest, I'm gonna get this leg fixed, and I'm gonna come back here with Evangeline, I'm gonna kill all these elves. I do not think that is a wise idea, Master Dwarf. That's, it seems that once we get your leg fixed, you should go back to your business. Well, I'll, I'll pay somebody to come and kill all those elves. I'll do something. Could you prefix it with wild, please? <laughs> oh, oh, my boy, my Lucius, my boy. Of course I don't mean you sky folk. You're not like these savages. No yeah. offense, miss. And he looks at Isla and she's like, yeah, okay. Um, no, these are beyond, clearly. Uh, Sister Yusuf looks, and, like, looks at Vala and you can see her expression darkens. Where have you been? She's just like, Vala kind of like slinks and hides behind Sentry and is like, I just wanted to see what they were doing at the ship. That is not how... You should not be running off like that. There's creatures out here. Where... Well, you have been gone long. He is bleeding. What has happened? Uh, we were attacked by wolves. And you can see, like, she just looks at Valor, like, really, like, intensely. Oh, she didn't set them on us. <laughs> I am aware of that, Master uh, Sky. And she's quite Master adept. Earth. 
I got bitten, she did not. Yes, with respect, she, we think she does know how to handle herself. She like looks like, you have known her perhaps a few hours, Mr. Arakrook. That is not, I believe, a fitting time to test someone's abilities. I have looked after Valor for many years, and like you, Valor just kind of you probably mutters something which only Quill would hear, which is like the, yeah, like keeping me locked up in a temple, or like keeping me in a temple for years. Uh-huh. But it's like, it's like really sort of like, I'm a teenager. Yeah, yeah. Um, with respect, uh, Yusef, is it? Sister Yusef, yes. Uh, Preciasco. Uh, she is quite capable. We were thrown into quite a dangerous situation here, crash landing, and we are in barbaric lands. For her to step up like that and to take initiative, it shows some strength there that I think you may have overlooked. It shows that she is curious and has no understanding of the danger that she was perhaps in. But this is not a conversation for now. We should. This is something I will speak with Valor about yes. privately. Yes, little chunkies. First little chunky. Corin looks at you. It's like I'm not sure what that means, but yes, rest. Arvel needs rest. Certainly, he is fine, but with his kind of injury, he definitely needs to rest. Have you found anywhere nearby that we can head to, perhaps? Uh, how was the ship? Were there any survivors? Well, no. We found the captain uh, dead. Oh. Um, we found the first mate. Yep, dead. Ah. And in bits. And in bits, being eaten by wolves. Um, Corin kind of pales a little bit, like, oh! This is the situation we are in. Uh, we, we didn't find any supplies on the ship, though. Well, well, briefcase. Oh, well, good. <laughs> Corin just kind of is like, that's good, I suppose. <laughs> silver lining. Literally, it has um, a silver lining. Okay. Inside it. Very good. Um, anyway, to the matter at hand, resting somewhere. So we've got, well, all these trees around us. You seem to have made a place yourself here. It's um, a little open to the elements. I pray that the weather doesn't turn bad. But yes, we could simply try and set a perimeter or watch here and, and rest here if need be. Well, yeah. the other option in a land filled with wolves and bears and wild elves, there is a cave I did spot on the way down. Not too far from here, actually. Um, we could go in there. Uh, there, be... is, uh, there is a risk of wild animals, I suppose. Um, yes, I suppose, like, it's, do we chance it and hope that it's empty, or that we can scare any creatures off, or do we simply camp out here and, and hope that we can... Well, it's either out here for everything to spot us, or in a cave for just animals to spot us. True. This is beyond my understanding. I, Sister Yusuf and I, I, I am from the city. I, I, I have spent no time in the lowlands whatsoever. This is far beyond anything I know. I, I leave it in your capable hands. Um, Very capable. Mr. Bird, mm-hmm. we don't have much time. If we go to the caves and try and clear out whatever is inside and set up camp there, we're losing valuable time. Um, they took our nibbles. It is around about, I would say, midday. So if you take a long rest now, you'd be waking up about 8, 8 p.m. and it would be getting dark about 8 because you're in winter. You're in the long, uh, uh, you're at the end of Grand Harvest, it's which is like the middle best season. That we go after them at night, but we'd have to find the camp. Ayla's just like, yeah, let's if we're gonna if we're gonna either sneak in or fight in, let's do it at night time mm-hmm. and. She kind of looks like they are elves, so we can see in the dark better than most people, but we might catch quite a few of them asleep, can slit some throats or crush some heads while they're sleeping, oh. maybe be able to grab the sword and other bits and then run, or set fire to their tents, or if they've got any shelters, set fire to those. Nova, can you sense Tiangong's presence? Its location when you're near it? In a brief moment, no. Maybe if you take a long rest, you can try and meditate or something like that, or try and feel that that connection. But you would probably need to do it during a long rest or a short rest. I rather don't than in know. A second. Right now, all I feel is a hole where his voice used to be. Not even a voice. There was a presence. I don't understand it. I, I'm still learning, but I can feel an emptiness right now. Maybe, maybe if I rested I can focus, but right now I can't. How long have you had him? Mark? 
Um, I'd say you probably found him like two, three months ago. Mm. I'd say that'd probably be about uh, two, three cycles ago. Mm. I need to use Aeroist terminology. Yeah. A few cycles, two or three. And in that time, you've become this attached to it. How dare you? Well, oh, come on, have some sense. No, I'm just, you know, you don't know what it is. Yes, and you'll learn by doing. Okay. I've known you two days. Well, actually, a bit more than that. We've been on an airship for a while. But I think we're all good buddies, don't you? Yeah, good buddies. Ayla, like, looks at Lucius. <laughs> Ayla gets it. Yeah. Great buddies. And two months is far longer. It's true. Who are we to judge, Quill? Are we uh, rest- I'm not birdie? judging, I'm just wary of what it is. I, if we're resting here, I'm gonna go find some food. Uh, well, do we want to head to the caves? Sounds like no. Okay, fine. Here is right. as good a place as any. Ayla scare- looks around. I can find enough food for like five or six of us. Somebody can, can try and help me. We might be able to find more. I will help. I can see more. And this... It's leaking pus, I think. It's making me feel quite faint. Perhaps you should sit down <laughs> with Arvel, uh, Lucius, sure, yeah. and I will try and attend to you. One hit point. <laughs> I think that that sounds reasonable. Um, all right, so then sit down, and she kind of pulls uh, you over and oh, sits yeah. you down. Oh, sit it's like, down. right, uh, is it all right if I look at your... your oh, please. Uh, takes, like, your shirt, and it's like... Just don't it's, go like, above open. the knee. <laughs> Very disrespectful. Just like looks, opens your shirt. <laughs> it's like checking like ribs and things. Oh like no, that. no, don't touch that. Yeah, it's like, it's I, my leg. I need to make sure that, th- that there's not lingering injuries. Crikey. Um, begins like doing that. Nova, I'm assuming you just wait here, just kind of like sat down. You just kind of feel like this empty hollowness and this thing. Um, Valor probably just kind of sits next to you and like gives you one of the knives. It's like, <clears throat> I mean, I, I know it's not well, a sword. Can. She took one of my knives. Yeah, she just gives you your knife back and is like, just in case you need to defend yourself because you don't have your sword anymore. It's okay. I still have a dagger and I have my crossbow. Oh, okay. You use it. Okay. She takes it back and it's just like, and just sort of sits there awkwardly. Um, I still have my dagger and my crossbow and my staff and my swords <laughs> and my ten guns. <laughs> <laughs> and the most powerful weapon of all, knowledge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, out of the three of you, would any of you want to use the Thunderstone pistol? Ooh, Would I have? Um, does anyone know about it? Yeah, it's the kind of thing of like only militaries or like people that like, like are constantly in fights would learn to use them. Like anybody can try and fire it, you just don't add your proficiency. I don't think those. Daddy would allow it. So I don't so think I would have touched one. I know martial and simple weapons. Yeah, firearms is so, a separate thing. You okay. either have to be trained or learn how to use them. I think I'll um, stick with my It would basically be, you would just not get your proficiency bonus. It's just your dex modifier yeah. straight up. And I guess there's no way a messenger would have... None of you have the... If you don't have the proficiency, you would have... I mean, have knowledge of it. Or, or, or You've got knowledge of it. I mean, Thunderstone is a resource. It's a fairly new thing that people have found. It's basically like a stone which seems to store like thunderous energy. And when it's hit with like a sharp object, yeah. it basically has a concussive force. And people have learned that you can channel that concussive force like down a, a metal barrel. And oh. so it basically, it tips the bullets. They have the Thunderstone is tipped onto like these metal projectiles. Yeah. And then it basically has just a really simple trigger. It hits the Thunderstone, concussive force launches the projectile out like a bullet. So cool. rather than using gunpowder, it uses the, the concussive force of this thunder magic. Um, you said when we found it mm-hmm. that it has it can go wrong. Yes. Does, uh, so do basically it that? has something, yeah. You would know that basically um, if it's subjected to a, an, a, an, an unexpected force, like let's say you were like thrown against a wall or like a fireball or something like that hit somebody who was having it, you basically have a chance that it can go off. So it just like goes off in your hand. Oh, so it doesn't also explode. it can misfire. Yeah. Um, and it basically, it causes, you would take some thunder damage. Like, okay. if it misfires, you take thunder, as it, like, blasts out of, like, the mechanism, and it would probably wreck the gun for oh, a until okay. it can be fixed. But they're generally very powerful. They do, thinking, um, like, it does you a lost the whole wing to thunder, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, I wouldn't want to lose another one to it. Yeah. At the same time, it's cool. I can't, uh, it would be cool. It does 1d10 piercing damage. Um, it's reload, so you basically, it's like a flintlock. Like, you have to, like, fire it, and then you spend a whole action reloading it and then you can fire it again. Uh, okay, 1d10 here. Yeah, Ayla's got the card, but I can tell you the stats as you need it. But yeah, okay. she basically like will put it on the ground with a little pouch of bullets and be like, I am probably not going to use this thing. I probably will want it back, 
but if anybody wants to use it for now, like while you two don't have your magic, and it's just like, right, I'm gonna go find food. Well, I'm gonna join you on the food loop. Come on then. Pistol? No? Nova? Daddy, it always says that the, those things are about your dead horrible. Sentry, do you even have any idea what this is? She shakes her head. I have never seen anything like this before. It's not very traditional. I have seen similar, she like, the shape of it is familiar. There are uh, the Dragonborn when they arrived, and some of um, the Court of Shadows have weapons like this, but they fire light. Hmm. What? They what? are capable of firing magical light, which burns. Oh, it does burn. Mm. Light but this, this one is more primitive. Well, weaponry-wise, I have very little. Um, Perhaps then it should uh, remain with Ayla for the time being, and she'll just take it. That's not what I was getting at. Oh, okay. In that case, yeah. No, I thought, okay, if you want to use it, that's fine. <laughs> I'll take it, okay. and I'll, yeah. Yeah, I'll add it to my sheet in a bit as well. Okay, yeah. Well, Katie, that, might, Katie might want it back, so I'm just, <laughs> while she's not here, yeah. something. Borrow it, yeah. I mean, I'll have it for a couple of minutes, and then I'll become instantly attached to it. That's how weapons work. <laughs> okay, sure. So, okay, well, so you're going to take the Thunderstorm pistol. Well, you can fight for it next week. Let's see how that works. So can you make a survival check for me, please? Yes. To see if you can help find any supplies. Uh, how long is this nice search stop. taking? Resting. Uh, so you can begin long resting now, yes, yeah. but with the additional time of finding food, it'll probably add a few hours, like, to it as well. Well, we wanted to go, like, in the dead of night anyway. Yeah, and I'm so. guessing as well, like, things like Corin and Sentry will begin, like, trying to build, like, a really rudimentary shelter with, like, the glide cloth and stuff. Just, like, basically, like, stretch out a canvas so if it rains, like, you've, like you're not in the rain, you've got, like, a thing above you and stuff like that. So the two of those begin working on that. Um, what do you, what's the total? Uh, 19. 19, yeah. Between, the two, between you and Ayla, you actually managed to... Um, Ayla's really good at catching game. Like, she kind of pulls out, like, a short bow, and she's, like, pfft, like nails, like, a couple of hairs um, that are, like, yeah. running through the woods. You manage to find more, like, foraging. Like, you find, like, mushrooms. You find, like, berries and, like, um, you okay. know, some fruits and things like that. Yeah, like There's kind of, like, the these, ground. like, <laughs> almost, <laughs> like, white... <laughs> Yeah, you yeah, probably find like insects and grubs and stuff like that. And you're like, oh yeah, these are edible. And like, everyone's like, gross. Um, they're but you're edible. like, oh no, they're delicious. And, <laughs> they're uh, good. <laughs> super fat grubs. Uh, you find like a kind of like a white kind of, almost like it looks like it's covered in frost, but it's like a pear. And you peel off oh. this hard skin and it's got like a sweet fruit. Um, mm. And you find like all this kind of stuff. It takes you like a couple of hours. It takes a couple of hours for them to form like a basic like, um, like canvas above you, uh, get a fire going. Um, and yeah, you come back and you have enough food. Uh, you probably find fresh water as well. You find like a small spring, okay. fill up some like um, canteens or something like that, or like some pots. Um, and so you have one day's, each of you has enough to have a meal and water, which is good because you were starting to get to the point of like, we've not eaten since yesterday. Yeah. We should probably eat. It's um, no plates or? It's like leaves. Cutlery. Do you have a mess kit? No. Then nope. I, I have an iron pot. Eat out of this. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> There's no knives, no forks. Like literally like Ayla is like has skinned a rabbit, has roasted it and it's like Oh wait, I have I have a small shovel. Yeah. You could use that. What? I think <laughs> I'm gonna take my silk gloves off. I've never you know. No, I touched don't. the food. Sentry just sits there, like I don't need to eat or drink. Like, yeah. mm, I'm a robot. Just lower your head and just. I am a robot. <laughs> That's what birdies do. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. You can do it. It's good. I don't have a beaky. Are you enjoying grubs? Oh, I'm very much enjoying <laughs> like, the grubs. <laughs> like a spaghetti, like a big spaghetti. Just put my head in the air and just slide oh, down my oh. throat. <laughs> <laughs> he does. That's how he probably eats, I let's think be honest. Normally Nova would be loving this, but right now she's it's just, just like so distressed. Sad. She's just on autopilot, just like helping where she's when she's told, like, can you help with this? Sentry would probably like, like be like doing that, like very motherly, like, yeah. Nova, please help me with this, and like hand yeah. you things to hold. And then when it comes to eating, like she like is almost like not feeding you but it's like that looks quite good and like gestures yeah. to it and then you're like oh yeah yeah I'm, I'm just on autopilot just like and you have to be reminded yeah. like but she's kind of making sure that you eat and drink and things yeah. like that um so what do we do about bedding and things like that is there something we can scan do you in? have any bed rolls no <laughs> does anybody have bed rolls in there um, do you have explorers packs i have the climbers tools and to be in your base gear professor you i've got cartographers tools yeah i've yeah. got scholar okay. stuff 
Okay. So you have a scholar's kit, it doesn't come with a bedroll. No, it comes with a little bag of sand. It comes with a bag of sand. Yeah, That's I lovely. I don't really know what the bag of sand little pillow. is for. It's Indiana Jonesing. Yeah, but exactly what, 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 what do scholars do with right, bags let of me sand? check and see if Ayla and Sensory have um, explorers <laughs> They weigh kits. scholarly that's items? That's what I thought, it just, yeah. yeah. that's true, they could do that. Oh, uh, okay, <laughs> right, Ayla has a bedroll, which she's going to sleep in, because <laughs> it's Ayla. Uh, she wouldn't be offering that. A she does have a tinderbox, so she starts the fire without nice. you having to do that. Okay. Uh, Sentry... Because she doesn't really need to sleep, she can just power down. She might have one that she can lend to someone. If she's got a generic pack, yeah. Yeah, if she's got like a generic um, pack. D and D, I love this. No, she doesn't because she's a robot. She doesn't have one. Because I'm guessing Rhiannon was like, I've, I don't need this. I've role played not having any of that stuff because I didn't expect to. Okay, be okay, so you're just choosing not to have that I stuff. I think it makes sense. We're all on an airship. I don't know. I think like for Quill, like as a message, like you travel around, like having an explorer's pack if you had one would make sense. Yeah, but, but you don't. And then so. I land on island. But also, you don't have one, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so yeah, Ayla's just like, well, looks like I'm the only one that came prepared. <laughs> like. Ada, mm. thank it. Ayla. Rolls up. Yeah, how much? Good night. For the, no. So I'm just gonna take the scarf off that I have on my midriff uh -huh. and just like roll it up and Into just kind of yeah, and kind of cuddle it a little bit. Like, okay. Like stroke it a little bit, like mm -hmm. you know, like a little blanket, like, yeah. like, like a comfort blanket, and just. Um. So well, Sentry is like, I will take the first watch, but I will require four hours of recovery time. So somebody must watch after me. And would watching still uh, count as well? Um, long yes. rest? I will say it can count as part of the long rest. As part of it, okay. Um, well, I, I, I don't exactly sleep fully. So, four hours. Oh, that's true, actually, for you, yeah, you need to. I mean, you'd probably sleep for like six, seven hours, and then the last hour could be like rest, but yeah. Um, but yeah, you only need four hours because I don't transit. mind, honestly. I can see better in the night time. Oh, the break time. Perfect timing. Um, well, I see better in general. No, not at night time, actually, no, it's miserable. Just let me do this, Quilla. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. okay. So, Lucius, you can set the second watch? Yes. Okay, perfect. Well, for centuries, right? Okay. Can you make a perception check for me, Lucius? I'm exhausted. You are exhausted. So you have disadvantage. But this would be after your sleep, though. Uh, you, this is during the long rest, so... I see, okay. But he only needs four hours? He needs four hours of sleep. Okay, a long rest is always eight four hours. hours of it's like four sleep. hours of him meditating, and then four hours of him sitting there and being like, oh, this is lovely. Night oh, one. lovely. <laughs> oh, no. So, I stay uh, asleep. You wake up, you're woken up by Sentry, and she kind of puts you on. She's like, Yes. Yes. Very well, I must now recharge. Mm. Absolutely. Like, her eyes go down. <laughs> and then, yeah, you're like, you're trying to, you try, you try and stay awake, and you're like, God, you got you're this. just so tired. And like, you just, your arm still hurts from the wolf, and it's just, this place is so horrible, and you're just like, oh, if only, hmm. And then you dream of like <laughs> soft, fluffy pillows, and, and daddy cheering you on, and oh, it's <laughs> lovely. And we're going to take a break. Um, as there is rustling in the bushes nearby. Good! Friends, take a break. Friend. Good! They brought my sword back. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Bye. See you in a bit. Bye. Hello. Welcome back to High Rollers. We just took a break. We're sorting out a few things. One thing I'm here to share with you is, you know Brilliant, one of our amazing sponsors? Yes, I do. I've got another amazing, brilliant puzzle for you. Ha <laughs> ha! What? Because Brilliant does help you with your logical thinking and puzzle solving problems, I'm posing you a very problem here. Um, Steve, can we bring up that image? Can you just throw that up on this cam? Perfect. Oh. So, Ooh. oh, check this out. A pious priestess of the great city of Farhaven has put out a call for intellectual adventurers to help her solve a problem and promises great rewards to those who can do so. The priestess seeks to decorate a tranquil garden in the temple grounds to four gods, for each god has a statue built there centuries ago. However, the priestess knows that the gods are jealous and wish to ensure that each god has an equal share of the land dedicated to them. She has split the temple grounds up into a grid of equally measured spaces and provides a map. The green circles represent the ancient statues and the priestess makes it clear that, each, that these statues must not be moved or harmed in any way. She wants each god to have an exact equal amount of land in this new garden, each containing their individual statue for fear of their jealous retribution. How can the priestess accomplish this? So that's your map. Each of those green statues, each of those green circles represents a statue. Each god, each god must have an equal share of the land which contains their statue. So one statue each. 
So how can you split that grid up four ways with uh, one of their statues in each area? I see. And you can't move the statues? You can't move the statues, you can't harm the statues. These this two are already working at it. There's your puzzle. Grab a screen grab of that, print screen. See how well you do, and I'll give you the answer at the end of today's stream. This is cool. Thanks to Brilliant. Gerrymandering. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what? I don't get it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you can take that down now, Steve. There we go, perfect. Thank you, Steve. Um, there you go, and I'll have the solution for that at the end of today's episode. Okay, yeah, sorry, I drew it. Go on. That's, that's you are here. You can't do the, pu do the puzzle yeah. in your own time. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure I did one of these in The Witness. Uh, it, this is a, this is based on a very kind of classic puzzle. Because yeah. I'm see, I'm yeah. dumb. I don't write classic. my own puzzles. I just take puzzles and reskin them for D and D. Cool. As many you, DMs. You mean you do. take the best ones from Brilliant.org? I do actually. Yes, I do. I take all of these. These are all examples from puzzles on Brilliant.org that w you can go and solve. You ever going to go back to taking them from Die Hard? Huh? I like that. One. I like that one too. That's like my go-to for like if I'm running for a new group of players that I've never run a game for before. The Die Hard water jug puzzle is my absolute favorite. You got a three liter jug, just a five liter jug, <laughs> you got four hard. liters, exactly four liters in the, in the jug. The one oh. we had in Lightfall about there are two women who go to the fair. And oh yeah, so the simple Simon said to the yeah. point when they're going to the fair. Yeah, oh. the literal distraction one where he throws loads of numbers at you yeah. and you think, oh, I got to add this all up, but the anyway, is actually just two. Let's get back Hands to today's high rollers D&D yeah. &D game. Oh yeah. So you take a long rest <laughs> and uh, during the night, Lucius, you were just you struggle to stay awake. Through. Like you, you, it's not necessarily sleep, but you're so exhausted you fall back into your trance. Um, and the last thing you heard, like there was a faint rustling as you drifted off. When you awake in the morning, you have all completed a long rest, Yay. and you find that some sort of small animal must have come through the camp. Jeez. It's probably like nicked what? some of the remains of the food. Um, and it's just rush off, it's run off into the woods. So like, like half a dead rabbit or something. That was like breakfast. I mean, I'm it's stolen your breakfast. I'm asleep, so I can't. It's is stolen it the cute? Breakfast. Is it cute? It's not there anymore. Okay. Like, this just is do like, the tracks look cute? It's probably like some yeah. sort of like yeah, like fox or something like that that's run off and grabbed that all. It is so difficult to trance without my bed. What do you mean? Century's like you said that you would be watching. Yeah. Oh, I did. Oh yes, I did. Great. Are we dead? No. I see. Thank you, Sentry. Oh, I like Sentry a lot. You, Thank you. Isn't she just so nice? We could have been attacked. Yes, what would you mean? You were sleeping. I was... Taking what? Scouting. Watch. Normally yeah. I would Watching. appreciate this conversation, but please, can we go? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Well, Let's get a move. It is dark. We should move. Um, did Yusef... I, sorry, did I, did I sense anything in the long rest? Yeah, so when you take the long rest, um, you take... You, you struggle to sleep. So instead you kind of focus on meditation and you focus on just trying to feel for that bond that you've created with Tian Gong. This kind of presence that sometimes feels cold, like you're looking up at the stars and you sense there are flashes in this kind of fever dreamlike state. You almost feel like they're memories, but they're not fully formed in that way. You have sensations of being out amongst the stars, like in a cold sea surrounded by lights. Then a sensation of being trapped and being taken somewhere. But this was long ago before this event. This was long, long, long ago. You feel yourself becoming weakened and the power being drained away from you slowly. And you know it's being used for a purpose that you don't like, but you have no way of stopping it. And after these flashes, these kind of almost near memories, you can sense almost like a faint, fragile string is tied around your heart and it tugs you towards the north. You can almost feel like faint, gentle pulls, but you have to have moments of absolute quiet and still to feel them. Um, yeah, you think that you might be, it might help you in locating him. Um, and you wake up and you have that sensation of like, if you take these moments, you might be able to give you a vague, just directional uh, yeah. origin. Um, yeah. Um, Quill, while you were sleeping, 
something happens with you as well. Oh. You uh -huh. have strange dreams. Okay. You imagine yourself on a coast, on a cliff, looking out at the sea, and you can see that there is a great storm out on the oceans. You can see black clouds and swirling winds. Um, and you watch as flocks of birds um, fly across the ocean. And some of them fly into the storm itself, whilst others land on the sand below. And they actually, you watch them as the birds who land, their wings fall off and they begin to cocoon themselves, like their bodies almost like moths. They begin to wrap themselves in these cocoon-like shells that then sink into the sand. And you watch, you watch this happen, and those that you're almost certain that the birds that fly into the storm, you don't know what's happened to them, but you can feel the sense that it's painful. Um, and you feel uh, hands on your shoulders, and you see glowing human skin, like a human man's hands that glows and you hear the rustling of feathers, but you can't turn around. And just a voice just says, what do you wish to do? And it kind of, you can see that it's asking you a choice. Would you fly into the storm or would you cocoon yourself like the other birds? I would join the others in the storm. And it, you basically feel the arms kind of underneath both of your wings, like you can feel that your other arm is oh. there and it feels, you feel it pick you up and begin to fly off into the storm. Um, and it says, you hear this voice kind of just muttering, it says like, freedom always has a cost. And then as you hit the storm, there is the racking sensation of pain, your uh, arm being ripped away again, mm -hmm. and then you're awake. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. Nope, still there. Um. Are you all right, Quill? Sentry looks at you. Uh, yes, very, very, fun, very, very good, very good, Sentry. Thank you. Um, uh, is everyone okay? Is everyone alive? Is everyone good? Yes. It You're speaking very good. quickly. Uh, panicked. Um, just remember to breathe, Quill. Yes. Enunciate. Yes. Sorry. Um, sorry. Uh, what, what time? What time? Where? Are, when, when? It's pitch black. Mm -hmm. It's like it's night time. We're gonna make sure you get some water and food, and then we're gonna move out. We have to do something quite reckless to get our possessions back. Right. Sister Yusuf is like, what do you, uh, Corin will remain here with Arvo. Do you wish me to come with you? We could use a healer. I can come with you if you wish, yes. I'm not a great fighter, but I'm, I'm happy to help. Stay behind Sentry. She's a good protector. Very well. Uh, she looks at Vala. Vala, you will remain here. She's like, no, I promised I'd help Nova. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help steal the sword back. And Sister Yusuf is like, you absolutely will not do that. I have been charged to look after you. You are not, we are not going into some elven camp where you will be at risk. That is not, no, I'm sorry. You know what, Yusuf, you're right. Uh, Vala, I've had some thinking about this. I've meditated, I've tranced, and I really hope we don't see you at this camp. Okay. She like looks at you. Wink. She's like, all right, okay, I'll stay here. Um, by the way, the, the plan is that after we uh, hit the camp, um, we would head east anyway to the river. So we are all kind of headed that direction anyway. Arthur's like, I mean, I can make my way, but I can't go anywhere near this camp, not with my leg. They'll mm. hear me coming. No, we can stop short of there, obviously, but once we go into the camp, we'll come back, we'll head off. All right, Ayla's like, yeah, we can probably find somewhere nearby. Good. Um, okay. And also in terms of healing, I can also uh, heal as well. So we've got that. Then uh, you keep safe, Quill. Well, more safe than... Use that gunny. Well, I can try. I've never fired it before and I might. Yeah, don't try and fire that thing early. Like, don't fire it now. That thing's going to be really loud. I know. I well, last... Last and like that is not a stealth. That is a that is a things have gone terribly wrong. You know what? It's going to go on this side of my body, away from my arm. So there's no way I'm going to fire it. Okay. Good that shout. Good good idea. All right. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, do what you want. Uh, Ayla just looks at you. So, those of you who are adept, Ayla, for example, how do you stop the overwhelming feeling of an absolute meltdown? Because I don't like being here at all. Don't be a wuss. 
that doesn't help. Mm. But thank you for the attempt. Deep breaths. In four, out four. Do you uh, now have to count to four? Absolutely. <laughs> Who do you think I am? We just need to fly into the storm, as it were. Oh. But afterwards, we'll come out free. Yeah. Please. Please, can we go? Please. Quite the poet, Quill. Right, so you have this conversation while you are making your way through, because it does take you some time from where you camped to where Quill saw the kind of, like, the fires when you were first coming down, these kind of, like, wood buildings. Um, It takes you probably, yeah, like a few hours to, like, trek through the woods in the night. So when you arrive, it's near midnight. Um, The moon is pretty bright, but it is kind of, every so often, like, thick clouds are, like, trailing over it which just plunge the woods into, like, near blackness. Um, there is always, like, this kind of ever-present multicolored light, and you can see now at night um, the sky of Erois is littered with stars. It is, is uh, just covered in, in, like, diamond dust of stars just across it. And in a ring around the planet is this kind of multicolored, almost like the Aurora Borealis, like, permanently around the planet. Um, and you would all know that, Sentry wouldn't, and Rhiannon's not here, but Sentry doesn't know, but that is what's called the Cradle. And it was the last divine essence of Siaska that she used to push out Callus and the other kind of demigods and immortals. And then it sealed off the planet from things like ships and planar magic and things like that. Um, and it basically protects Eroes. You can see wow. that, and that kind of ca- that casts down some light. Um, but the, the stars provide it mainly, and the clouds do cover them up every now and then. I'm going to retcon, there is no moon. I, that was defaulting to Earth logic. There is no moon on Erois, it's just starlight. But the stars are very bright, so at night time there is like a, a permanent light. So with no moon, is it super, super dark? Mm-hmm. Like yeah, well the stars, so the stars are bright enough that they provide starlight. Oh, okay. But when they're covered up by clouds, it's the same thing, yeah. right? Like you and can't you say the anything. cradle provides a little yes. ambience? yes. But it's very hard to see. Anybody who has dark vision, basically, you're, you're effectively blind. Um, or like That's you can't no barely moon. see. Yeah, there is no moon. There is, there no, is no moon. There is no moon. <laughs> so you make your way, and you you leave the others. You leave uh, Corin, Arvor, and Vala mm-hmm. uh, to the side, with Vala kind of like winking back at Lucius. Um, and you begin heading off towards where you spotted these buildings. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming you're all approaching stealthily. Yeah. And yeah. So that is going to be... Stealth checks all around. No exhaustion anymore. Okay. Um, cool. Yep. 14. 14. 11. 11. 15. 11. You and Ayla both had the lowest um, with 11. Um, I didn't actually roll for Yusuf. Uh, Yusuf is actually the lowest. Uh, you can see like her robes get kind of tugged on things and she can't see because she's human, but she's like, she's trying to, she probably conjures light on her holy symbol, but like, angles it so she kind of uses her robe to kind of like point it at the ground so she can see where she's going that means she's quite slow and she's like stepping on things and getting caught on stuff i assume um, i can't really see much color right now uh if you if there is light yeah but otherwise no your dark vision is black and white only but if they have like a campfire or something like that you'd probably be able to see um so you make your way and you can see that basically you can see what appears to be Maybe three or four wooden kind of ramshackle buildings, two of which are built up into the trees, and then two of which are built on the ground. And they're quite large. They look like they've been hastily put together log cabins, um, built from sort of like either lumber or some of it looks like reclaimed wood, like maybe from other settlements or ships. Um, And you can see that they have got, uh, there's like bed rolls with thick wolf furs and bear skins kind of like on the ground. You can see that there are rope ladders leading up to the buildings up in the trees. Um, And you can see that there's quite a lot of these wild elves around. Um, Two of them appear to be sleeping outside. Um, They're just tucked into these thick bed rolls. Um, Two of them appear to be around a campfire. Just kind of sat on like crude wooden like, like carved chairs and they're just kind of poking at it. But you can see they're kind of like, one of them looks like he's trancing. One of them is kind of like lazily just like kicking at it, staring into the fire. Um, But they have three which look to be sentries. And you can see those from here, Quill. You see them even with your low live vision. Um, You can see that they have three sentries, one by each of the ground buildings and then one in the sort of rear tree line. And you can see that they're armed with short bows and they have like a bone whistle around their necks, like on a leather cord. They have like, it looks like a kind of like long flute and it looks to be like some sort of whistle. 
Mm. Um, and yeah, that's what you see. You can see that there are barrels and supplies all stacked up in a pile. Um, um, and I would probably say, in fact, actually, the shaman that you guys saw before is probably going to be one of these guys. He's probably the one staring into the fire. Okay. Just thinking about things. Yeah, he's just kind of staring into it. And you can see that, like, he doesn't appear to have Tiangong on him. He, it's not on his person. Do I have enough time to, like, focus and see if I can... You sense? think it's, it's in this area, but the, it it's not... not you can't pinpoint it. Where are we approaching from? Um, you anywhere you want. Like at this point, like they're not aware of you. Um, I'd say that you guys can pretty much approach from. We arrived from the south, um, just from the journey that we took. Mm -hmm. We're at the south, I suppose, at the moment. Um, <clears throat> so think of this as south, um, and that as north. So the more. But that's probably not going to look great on the camera. So wooded trees area. We can kind of move these. Well, things can I? Away shall up. I move the trees here? Mm, yeah, and then I'll keep the other scout. Move him over there. This way? Yeah. Shimmer's brush and shrub. Yes, there is. I'm just putting some major trees in. This tree is a bit blocky. Yeah, move that one Move that one over here, maybe, so you guys have got some more coverage. Okay. So you guys are over here at this point, and then I've got a miniature for... Yeah, Lucifer. these two are here. Ah, perfect. Yeah, Val is not there yet. So or is she? Or yes. Is she? What do you mean, yet? So. She was with us. And you want to be like that, right? So you've got Nova and Quill at the back. <laughs> Lucia's not near the front. <laughs> Yusuf is sticking towards those guys. Okay. So you can see that you can basically, you see the scene as described before you, right? You can see these sentries, you can see the trees, you can see the wooden buildings. Um, what would you guys like to do? Ayla kind of like crouches down and like looks at you lot. Never. But she's not going to take actions until you guys come up with a plan. I don't want to be deciding why. But... Whispering. Yes. Never. Can you sense your sortie? It's here, but I can't pinpoint where. Okay. But it's definitely here. Okay. So, looking ahead, so I've got the eyes for it, you see? Mm -hmm. Elf. Brilliant. There's a supply cache up ahead, and there's two buildings. Now, do we want to risk causing a distraction? by setting one of them on fire. That way they all flock to it, and then we look the other one. And then it's a 50-50, you know. Our belongings are in, could be in one of those buildings. They could yes. be in either of the buildings, and you could destroy one of the, one of the things we're looking for. Good thinking. This is why we're having this discussion. Mm. Um, setting fire to a building might not be the best idea. Setting fire to a tree, maybe. Quite. Or a building on the way out. Quite. Well, there's three. Sentry, not you, Sentry. <laughs> it's four I am sentry. aware. I am aware. Uh, it looks like they have whistles of some kind, so I assume we need to dispatch them or take them out immediately. I'm going to ever so slightly move some of these guys because obviously I set it up for a different sort of setup. If they when blow their whistles, them. it's going to wake everybody up. But if one sees the other go down, they're going to blow their whistle. Sounds like we need to take out either take out the sentries quietly, or go in guns blazing. Yeah, or do something. What's it? What's the name of the guns in this? Thunderstone. Thunderstone. Go in thunderstones blazing. Well, got thunderstones one. rumbling. Nice. Go in thunderstones rumbling. Nice. <laughs> Retcon three times. <laughs> uh, sentry points. The shaman is there, and she points at the shaman at the table. We know that he is potentially a high risk if we do need to engage them in combat. How do you wish to proceed? I am happy to provide protection if things come to the worst, but I am not quiet. She kind of like gestures to her metal body and armor. I think you should, uh, yes, come in if things go south. However, uh, the stealthiest of us to try and, I don't know. We should take the sentries out first. Maybe we should, yes. Go to one of the buildings, take out the sentry there, behind this tree perhaps, up on our right hand side, and then take out the sentry there, and then whoever's being stealthier, check that, see if our stuff's in there. Agreed. So you're going after the sentry nearest to the campfire that has tucked just behind the building. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Who's and who it? wants to try and do that? I'm not particularly stealthy. I will, but my rolls are garbage. Um, but yeah, I guess. I don't have anything of range or to kill him with. You've been um, speaking some inspirational stuff. Do you want to provide whoever's going with? 
little, little, little pep talk. A little pep talk. Uh, well, who is going? Um, Ayla, what about you? How stealthy are you? <laughs> <laughs> She's got a big hammer. You do have a bow. I know the hammer, but, well, to be I mean, fair... I don't really use my bow. I mean, I can, I can be as, I can try and be quiet. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm skilled at it, but I mean, I've tracked game and I, I've stalked through woods and stuff before. I mean, I'm probably the only one that's strong enough to try and knock him out anyway. Um, play a question. Mm -hmm. Eldritch invocations, do they still require? They don't require an arcane focus. I'd say that, yeah, as long as you're near Tiangong, you can still use your invocations. So I could use silent image. Yep. Yeah. But it is okay. a silent. But image. yeah, and we've got a shaman who probably okay. knows what magic is. Um, yeah, he was like, do you want me to go and I can try. Who's stealthier? I don't know if you seem smaller and more adept at this. I'm clumsy. <laughs> if you're not trained in it, I'll say that Ayla's very dexterous, but she's not trained I mean, I'm in sneaking about. Plus three dex. Same. So, yeah. That's either of Ayla, you know these lands. Sure. And she can defend herself with a big hammer if things go south. Also, I can set one of the trees on the opposite side on fire if you are. And like, right, okay. A bit of confusion. And then literally is about to go. We have a lot of fail safes in place. Whatever you do, it will be your pep fine. Talk? <laughs> is this your pep talk? Yeah, yeah sure. So okay. pepped. Okay, she's going to spend it instantly. She's going to make a stealth check. Oh dear. It's a natural one. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh dear. Yep, it's literally a straight out natural one. And the, um, the, D6? I, the D6 was a one. Okay. So that's a total of five. So. Brilliant. So Ayla uh, begins moving. She uses the trees as cover. And then as she kind of reaches this point, um, she puts her hand up on this tree and she's got the huge hammer in the other hand. And then she just, the, obviously just mistimes her strength a little bit and like snaps the branch. The sentry looks up and sees her. And then she just runs in and tries to wail him before he has a chance to do anything, but he sees her coming. Okay. Um, so this is all going to come down to if she can take him out with this one attack. Cool. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so you watch as Ayla runs in. That was a, I rolled a four, I should point out. Uh -huh. uh, even with a plus six, Ayla runs in with a hammer, swings wide, but the wild elf just kind of like ducks and it slams into the tree. And then he just scrambles for the whistle at his throat and is like literally ready to go. At this point, oh, I think it probably man. makes sense to roll some We are the initiative. worst. The that rolls. was really bad. I hate you guys making me fucking roll for players that aren't here, by the way. I was gonna say, um, I was gonna do it. Well. Oh well. That's the way it goes. I mean, that's just the way it is. We the cookie so, crumbles. Might be a fire bear situation. Uh, it's a bit late uh, for trickery. Uh, could trick the others. They don't know about him just yet. He hasn't blown the whistle. The other guys don't know about us yet. Fiber. Fiber. It worked so well last time. It, there were wolves. Wild elves are scared he of He died. Yeah. He technically, well, didn't die. He got I went down. Out. He got knocked down. Okay. Then he got um, up again. <laughs> oh, the oh, now I roll an 18 for initiative for Ayla. Hey, Quill. Uh, oh, I got uh, 16. 16. Nova. 11. Uh, Lucius. 20. Sentry mm. got a 9. Sister Yusuf gets a 12. And then the Elves. What about our sneaky friend in the shadows? Maybe. I'll roll for her in a minute. She's not there yet. And then there's a Shaman. Oh, man, I should have printed out some more stuff. Feel dumb. Shaman. Oof. Just make them all have one HP. Uh, we have all got our spells. Yeah. So. Well, but there's a lot of them. Would I be able to do all of mine though? I don't know. Hey. Um, yeah, you were close enough. So Ayla goes first, and seeing this guy like, <laughs> but she's just like, <laughs> and she'd probably do this recklessly, I guess, because it's desperate. Um, she's not raging at this point. She's just going to recklessly just, just reckless. swing it to try and grab, like hit him as best as she can. Okay. Which does hit. She hits him uh, on a twenty in the head, and he's dead. Yeah, smash the whistle into dust. Mm -hmm. Or into his throat. Well, let's see. So, I mean, nose. Tom's nodding and I'm nodding. Which two to one. Yeah. I'm nodding. <laughs> Three to oh, one. Are we allowed to go for through the DM? <laughs> 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 
across. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so with that one, uh, yeah, for this guy, you watch as she swings the hammer in, this time like recklessly, the first one hit, so she just goes and swings it in a wide arc. It catches the guy, knocks the whistle from his hand, and you can see it nearly downs him in one. Like you watch as it throws him into the ground, and he kind of scrambles around, and you see, probably see like blood pooling, pooling from his mouth. Um, it looks like some of his teeth might have come loose, and he's just like completely dazed looking around. Um, so she, the alarm doesn't get fully blown yet, Lucius. You can see that Ayla is like down this guy, but he's still alive. Is... Lucius swear? He's... I'm sure he's In these high scenarios. caliber. Yeah. Um, I'm just like running. Uh, so you just move up full speed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to get the water canteen mm -hmm. and use that as a component for ice knife. Okay, is that what so it requires? Just like a, yes. a bit of water? Nice. Just a drop of water or a piece of ice. Oh, perfect. And so, it's yeah. Somatic as well. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So, somatic. So, you basically are like it's Elven, or something like that. I've been playing <laughs> a lot of Warcraft. Um, and yeah, you throw the ice knife out. So, ice right. knife is a ranged spell attack, I believe. Correct. It's a nice bolt. It's a bolt of nice. 16 plus bolt. 5. Oh, nice. Okay, plus 5, 21. Yeah, this is absolutely going to hit the guy on the ground. Um, and read me what ice knife does. 1d10, yep. and then it explodes. So piercing, roll the d10 for me. Explodes? Yeah. <laughs> I mean... It's a 1. So he takes 1. Oh wait, sorry. Yeah, 1d10, yeah. And it's 2d6 cold. Got an eye of 2d6 each. cold. 2, how many creatures does the cold hit? It's a uh, 5 feet radius. Mm, so Ayla's going to make the save then as yeah, well. Yes, she is. Okay, great. Mm. And it's a dex save on this one, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, uh, so he took 1 piercing damage, which doesn't quite kill him. It's... Damn, Basically, I'm not going to explain why. <laughs> I don't have to. Uh, Ayla dexterity saving throw is a 11. And then the guy's dexterity saving throw is a 12. Mm, what should my we see? thing is a, let's go to spells, uh, 13. 13, so both fail. Hey. So they're going to take full damage. Well, half a. That's 2d6 then. So. Oh. Mm. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Is he dead? I'm and sorry. And then it explodes. Uh, See, I like uh, to think, right? So how much, sorry? Uh, nine. Nine. So I'm just, I'm working out Ayla's, so. Do you want me to like do stats for Ayla or something? Uh, it's, it's tricky because I've got their sheets on the okay. beyond here. So like I've got their, because like, I'm the DM, I can edit their sheets. Yeah. But otherwise it's going to be tricky. So Ayla takes it and then nine you said. So you watch as this bolt, this kind of blade of ice I'm hoping flies through the, the air. The knife itself. Oh, is it got really bad? Okay, we're gonna swap out my mic cable because apparently it's really bad. Okay. So where am I plugging uh, this in? Okay, so. Okay. Sorry about this, everybody. Yeah. In the meantime, chat, let us know how your day is going. Tell them about our sponsors, Tim. We have sponsors, one of which is D&D Beyond, which yeah. we are using <laughs> now. I don't want to talk about what's going on underneath the table. Oh. <laughs> I literally managed to throw the cable and hit his elbow. Aww. <laughs> we also have right. Brilliant. Yes. Dot org. Um, um, this time to solve my puzzle. Yeah, solve the puzzle. It had a grid and... Eight by eight. Yeah, eight by eight grid. Fucking. Oh, with four <laughs> gods on it. <laughs> you uh, separate it so Steve, they all have equal space. how is this now? Better. It's just as bad. It's the what top the hell? Then. The top part of the mic. In the meantime, would you like to buy one of these Pride Yogscast T-shirts? All profits go towards the charity Stonewall, uh, which is a charity that works towards help for the LGBT community. Uh, you can buy it on store. I mean, I don't yogscast dot com. I don't know what to do. Mm. Okay. Okay. Just be. Very careful. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna have to. All right. I mean, I, I literally know nothing, chat. So you throw this blade of ice, um, and it impacts 
I'm hoping it was a silent knife throw. So yeah, it, 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 it's a spell. Like you, you hear you kind of mutter some arcane words, you throw out this, there's this probably a faint hiss of like cold air passing through. Um, it stabs into the guy's leg, like just kind of grazes it. But then as it hits the ground, it explodes into shards of ice. Mm -hmm. Ayla throws her hand up and is like, ah, fuck! like as she gets sprayed with these ice, the guy, they just lot, like most of it kind of goes into his side, but three large chunks just gouge his throat open and just frost it over, oh. and he just dies instantly. Do you want to knock the, uh, that sentry down? Oh, lovely. Um, and he just completely assists. However, the sound of you running up and casting the spell, you can see that the shaman and some of the others are beginning to like look around yeah. now at this point. Um, but yeah, you easily take down uh, that guy very, very quickly. Uh, so this is where I'm hoping that the buzzing isn't going to get too bad. I think it's already gone bad again. Probably has. All right, he's going to swap the mic. Okay. Bear with it for a little longer, chat, sorry. Sorry, chat. That's what we're talking about here. These frickin' mics. <laughs> 35, yeah, 35. Um, and then, Tom, can you just stand the two sleeping ones up? Oh, they're awake too. Cool. They're not fully awake yet, but I'm going to stand them up to represent them getting, sort of, they're becoming... They're rearing. Yeah. They're awakening. Sorry about the mic problems, chat. We need to, yeah, I guess like we'll just get Terps to try and order some new ones and we'll get rid of this one or something. Oh! Apparently when you sit down it gets worse. And when you lean over it's fine. Oh really? Yeah. Weird. Is that what they were saying? Like when I was leaning over the map it was fine? So. That's super weird. Yeah. Well, either way, we'll you get it. To meet you. Okay. Okay. Until then, you can use the code high rolling on D&D Beyond to get 25% off. You can. 20%, isn't it? 25%? 25% quarter. Oh, wow. Your purchases, excluding the legendary bundle. So go buy a load of stuff on D&D Beyond with the code high rolling. Mm. Did you say, Mark, that I can do my spells? Yeah. Um, yeah, you can. You can do um, any spells that don't have a material component. Okay. That's a note to Hex, then, unless somebody happens to have a petrified eye of Newt on their prisons. What? Petri okay. D20 off. Is that... Have you unmuted me? Is that better? 18. And 14. All good. Yay! Right, so... You watch as these elves... Two of these elves run out. Um, they do have short bows. One of them is going to take a shot at Ayla, and one of them is going to take a shot at Lucius, as they see you two, like, they haven't seen the rest of them. They're just like... Ah. One of them, uh, they don't appear to be blowing their whistles because the shaman is like becoming aware and the others are like, they kind of kick the others as they run past. But they bring these bows up to take a shot each. Um, bam, 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 bam. So against Ayla, it's a hit, unfortunately. And against Lucius, it's a 22, which I'm setting, guessing is also a hit. Um, you could have done, you cast a cold spell, Lucius, with your Dichromancy. You could have dealt some damage to a nearby creature. Would you have liked to have done that? Um, what's the range on it? Uh, 60 feet, I think. Oh. Then absolutely, if, the, if anyone's rearing their head. Yeah, the shaman, you saw him turning around, so you could easily drift over some I'm of the gonna, cold magic. Yeah, the eye's gonna pulse. Okay. I'm gonna pull some cool. blue. And I believe it's... Um, Wisp. Check on your uh, class features, whether it's what, how much it is. I think it's under Dichromancy. It's my... Level plus charisma mod, I think. Level plus charisma mod. Perfect. So that would be plus three, so five. So five on the shaman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you watch, so you kind of pull off this um, shard, like you can see with the firelight, you can just barely make out the blue on like your outfit, and you manage to just draw out a tiny sliver of cold energy and fling it over towards the shaman like a, like a sharp needle of ice, and it kind of just splashes against his arm um, as it hits him. Uh, boo, boo, boo. That was at the shaman. And yeah, and you can see the shaman seems particularly injured by that. Like he, he's like, ah, ah, and you can see like ice kind of frosting over his arm, turning some of the skin black. Um, so they both hit you with short bows. So Ayla is going to take uh, five points of damage. You're going to take four points of damage, Lucius. Owie. So you see Ayla's just like, ah, and like she's, uh, you can see this arrow kind of sticking out of her arm a little bit. Um, after those two go, Quill. Uh, I'm going to turn to Nova and say, would you say that now is an emergency for the gun? Just blast him. OK. Uh, I'm going to pull the gun mm -hmm. uh, and aim it at the shaman. And okay. sort of wince 
and pull the trigger. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna make an attack roll. You don't add your proficiency. You just add Dex modifier. Oh. Uh, and tell that's... me if you get a natural one. Eight. Eight. So you aim this thing. You s close your eyes and <laughs> you pull the trigger. A thunderous boom, like a bolt of lightning hitting the ground, <laughs> erupts throughout the wood. Mm -hmm. um, just. Oh. Much and it Let's blows look. your hand like it, like your hand goes sh shooting backwards oh, um, as it, the bullet just flies off into the air. Like you, oh. the kickback on this thing was nuts. Like you weren't expecting it whatsoever. And okay. this incredibly loud noise erupts all over the place. <laughs> um, and you can begin to hear somebody in one of the buildings stirring, like <clears throat> like noise coming from inside. That was your action. That was my action. Uh, I have some bonus actions I could do. You do. Um, Ah, there's no point. I'll just uh, leave it there. Okay. Move. You can see Ayla is is injured. How? Oh, I mean, sixty feet. It's quite a way. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Feet. A your range. Okay. In that case, I will cast Healing Word. Okay. On D4 plus Wisdom uh, modifier. D4. I'm just gonna remove this tree so that One you can see. One. Plus yep. two. That's three HP healed. Uh, with the healing. Okay, so prayer. you kind of like let out a small prayer um, and you watch uh, Ayla get some renewed vigor uh, into. She kind of just like. She kind of feels a little bit thing. Uh, Sister Yusuf will step forward a little bit until she's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Yep, yeah, the shamaning range. And then she brings out a, uh, a small, that sil sacred flame. And I'm just going to throw that out uh, to which the shaman fails. Excellent. Takes another three points. Is this burning? Um, and you can see, like, as he's kind of like lost oh, with this big, white hot flame, he's just like, ah! Uh, flame! <laughs> Nova. Shaman's looking pretty injured, isn't he? Yeah, he does actually. Like, you can see, like, his tattoos are pulsating with power, but his one of his arms is like scorched black with frost. Um, and then this kind of holy light is like, like you can see he's like blinded by it slightly and he's, he's wincing in pain. Um, okay, can I, he's, uh, what range is he? He's, wait, how, what's the range on Hexblade Crest? Oh, it, that was the thing, I never found it out. <laughs> I am going to blast him with, okay. uh, what's the range? Eldritch Blast? Eldritch Blast 120. Oh shit, you can do it yeah. from there. If you want. So you just kind of like poke your head out from the tree line, point your finger. 14. So, in fact, I have to make a quick concentration check on the shaman to see if this works for the first time it did. Second time. Jesus, that was two natural 20s in a row. That was really weird. Oh. So you can see that as you blast him, um, there's like a thick bark-like mm. texture across his uh, across his skin, and it just the blast hits that and just poof, bounces straight off of him, sadly. Um, yeah, and he kind of like looks up, you, as he calls out, as he can now recognize you all. Uh oh, us. Uh, Hi. Sentry will. Running forward, pass the supplies towards Ayla. She literally, Sentry Thank moves you. up as close as she can, because um, she doesn't want to dash necessarily. I'm just going to check what spiels. And just to check, I was allowed to do Eldritch Blast without Tiangong being. Yeah, if, you, if yeah. it doesn't require a material component, yeah, yes. sure. Nope. It's innate to warlocks. So there you go. Dribble and somatic. Um, yeah, Sentry just like moves up and just kind of readies herself and seems to be readying for somebody to move up to Ayla. She seems to just like, get ready, ready cool. to kind of like counter charge. 30 um, feet. Sorry, Hexblade Curse was 30 feet. Okay. Okay. Thanks, D&D Beyond. Thanks, D&D Beyond. Thank you. Uh, the Shaman. Mm. Uh, the Shaman is going to move around uh, to where this tree was. Um, seeing Ayla just kind of decking his friend, he like looks over, sees Lucius. He's like, I warned you. And he's going to hold out his arm and you watch as the tattoos ripple and this kind of whip of thorns launches out towards you. No. Uh, so you, it launches out and you're like, no! You kind of dive to the side as this thorn whip like kind of just smashes into the ground, sending up this kind of like cloud of leaves and pine needles. 
um, and doesn't quite grip onto you. Uh, he just kind of sneers a little bit. Uh, and then he will probably do nothing because uh, he can't do anything with his bonus action from that range. Um, Ayla, on her turn. <laughs> oh. Next person to die. She's going to rage because she's pretty injured. Uh, so you watch as the lightning begins to crack up and down her arms. Um, she won't attack recklessly. Um, she's just going to attack normally. Uh, the first one that she can see, unfortunately this one she's like just swings wide and smashes into the campfire, kind of sending up smoke and embers everywhere. Um, but it doesn't quite connect. Um, but she kind of just like grits and like stares into the face of this kind of like Sentry, who was like this wild elf, he's like blinking awake and is like, Ugh! and he's like pulling out like a long knife ready to fight her down. Um, Lucius, I'm gonna panic and cast Blade Ward on myself. Okay. Which is, I'm just gonna cantrip. hunker down and instinctively all these thorns coming at me. Mm -hmm. It's a cantrip, so that just requires verbal and somatic. Okay. And it basically prevents. Uh, you have resistance, resistance and against stuff for bludgeoning, yeah. piercing, slashing. For one turn. Yes. Cool. Okay. So I might scramble towards sentry. Okay. So the elves on their turn. These two finally manage to like fully wake up. They begin drawing weapons, but that's all they can do. This one is already having someone in his face, so he's going to fight as this one steps around to the side to try and get Ayla. This one, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, there's the man with the big shouty gun. Okay. Um, and they're going to try and fight you guys. So I'll do the two scouts first because they've got slightly better attacks. So against Ayla, that's a hit. And against Quill, does a 13 hit you, Quill? It doesn't. 13, Yay. okay. And then um, the other one is the Savage, uh, who is going to miss Ayla as well. So just one. So the one against fighting Ayla, you watch as uh, he seems he shoves a blade into her, uh, but it's halved because she's raging. Um, but she just kind of like turns to the side as this blade kind of like spurts like a little blood out onto the, the, gr uh, the ground, but Ayla doesn't seem to be that bothered by it. Uh, the other two at the far end do pull out bows, and you can see them kind of getting themselves ready, basically. Oh. Uh, ready to attack on Fort Quill. Uh, oh, um, okay. So, this guy in my face. I don't like him. I don't, I don't like, like him. him. I don't like him, sir. I don't like him. Uh, I am going to use Gust. Uh, which is a strength 13 saving throw. Mm -hmm. uh, 17. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you bring up the wing, you try and launch this blast of wind, and he's kind of taken aback, and he holds his hand up, but you can see he's like fighting against it, and he like grips onto the tree, and uh, he's not blown away. Okay. In that case, I'm going to just try and move away from him. Uh, well, you've used your action, so this will be a normal movement. This will be a normal movement, so he gets an attack of opportunity on me. And I'm guessing that a 19 will hit you. That will, yeah. That'll do it. So that's going to be seven points of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage, Mark. That hurt. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. This is going so well. I missed you. And I'm just going to back up to the, the very, very back lines of the entire combat now. Okay, so you just run past, but as you do, he pulls out this, like, this long knife and just like whips you yeah. um, oh, with that... this, this sort of long serrated hunting knife so... as you try and run past. Was it seven damage? Seven points of damage, yeah. I mean, it's a d6 plus two. Like, I rolled a five. Oh, that's a lot. I mean, it's not that much. It's a lot. Uh, after Quills go, it is Sister Yusuf. Um, I also have to roll another initiative here. Wasted. <laughs> um... Two, okay, so she's going to go at the very end. Man. So, uh, Sister Yusuf, seeing that you've just taken that hit, will kind of step behind you, place her hands on you, and heal you for eight points of oh, damage. Thank you. Is that Hesper? Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> you hear her just like, Siaska, please, call down the stars. And like, as you do, you feel this like starlight fall over you as it begins to heal your wounds. Um, Nova. Um, How much fall, sorry? Eight. Oh. Can I move to cover? So you want to go this way? That right, way. 10, um, left. 15, and then, 20. Uh, would that cover me from these guys? Like You can maybe? go far, one more. Or, go no, there. I mean more like here, because I want to oh, attack like here? this guy, this sentry as well, the one that attacked Quill. This one? Yeah. Yeah, you can move there and you'll have cover from those guys with their bows, yeah, yeah for sure. Um, and can I attack him with um, Eldritch Blast? Sure. Blast him. 16. 16 hits. Nice. Hey. 
seven, eight. Uh, sorry, what do I add? Just tap it. Is it just? Is it just seven? Just tap uh, it. For Eldritch Blast, yeah, it's just it's Eldritch Blast is just. It is what it is. No modifier, so yeah. seven points of damage. Seven points. So you watch as this blast kind of takes. You know, he you blast him in the chest. He kind of takes it, stumbles back. And you can see that you've blasted away some of the fur and leather armor, and there's obviously some sort of sore wound, but he's still, you know, up, and he just pulls the knife. He's like, ah, I'll kill you, Outlander. Um, just kind of like looks at you and snarls uh, as he does so. Racist. <laughs> Sentry is now going to step up into the shaman's face um, and just be like, cease this, and bring the hammer down. Excellent. Axe. That's going to hit. Yeah, the axe, sorry. Uh, so with sentry, that's a 22 to hit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she eight for damage plus three. It's 11 points. Oh. She brings the battle axe, swings it round, and she the blade connects, and you can see the tattoos pulse to try and sort of, you know, provide some sort of barrier, but the axe just smashes through it, and she just gouges a huge chunk out of, down into his chest. Pulls it three and then boots the body to the floor, oh turning around, like looking around who else is left um, as Wait. the shaman just topples down. She, she killed him? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, the shaman like just didn't seem to be, like he took like the cold damage and then oh, um, okay. some of the blast. So was that perfect damage again? Uh, it was an eight plus three. I didn't do a divine smite or anything. But I mean, was that a d8 that she rolled? Yeah, it was a plus eight, yeah. Okay. She's, she, she she's done very well. Again. Yeah. <laughs> so he's dead. Um, emerging from the, another building is a woman. Uh-oh. You see this woman. Oh, that is. Oh. And that is. you can see that she's dressed in um, almost like a robe, but it's like made from like, like white cloth painted or like cloth painted with like white symbols. Um, you can see that there's like a fur mantle. She has like a headdress made from like stag antlers. Um, and she has like a gnarled wooden staff and she looks quite young. She's a wild elf, mm. um, but you can see that there is like a deep, her, her face is like lined with like deep lines and wrinkles already, but she can't be that old. Um, and as she emerges, she also has a spear tip on what looks to be like a leather necklace. And it appears to be like made of a black iron with runes carved into it that pulse with a slight power. And she kind of steps out. What is going on here? She looks around like, Ah, and she kind of like glances around for a moment, sees Ayla kind of fighting the others, um, and then she'll hold out an arm, and you watch as Ayla just seizes up. Oh. And then looks, and then she, this woman just looks at the rest of you. And the other guys, are they fighting still? So Ayla currently freezes in place, and then she just is like, I'll deal with that, that one is dealt with, deal with the others. And then the two facing Ayla will basically whoop, Leave and then this one will step up to sentry. Lucius, that's a 24 to hit. And against sentry, that's a critical hit. Uh oh. So that's a quick injury check for sentry. What? what? Uh, critical hit. Oh, hit, right. Critical hit. Um, so that's a thing uh, for sentry. So for damage wise, Lucius, that's going to be four points. And then against Sentry, that's going to be two double to four plus two, six. Um, oh man, I forgot to long rest her as well. Whoop. So. How she fare with the injury? I'm just about to do that. Uh oh. I regret asking. Uh, too many things. I hate having I players ask, away. I've forgotten. I hate having players away. I have too many things to manage. Okay, so you watch as um, as this guy steps up. Sentry is like just finished the shaman. This kind of savage-looking warrior. You can see he's kind of got like a long, serrated knife. He comes up and he plunges the knife into Sentry's faceplate and just drags it down, and it rips part of like the metal plating, creating this horrible scar-like kind of tear in the metal and wood that completely just carves up part of her face. Um, um. Cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dear Rhiannon, I hope you had a great holiday. <laughs> uh, by the way. By the way. Rip. <laughs> oh, sorry, right, okay. Lucius, you technically should have got a, a go before these guys. So would Quill. I just defaulted because Ayla is paralyzed. Before they moved? Yeah. But we're just going to retcon it and they've moved 
but you can take an action. Oh. Yeah, you can still attack them. I won't give you a disadvantage or anything. Well, the thing is, they were grouped up, and I was going to do a sure. Acid splash on them. Yeah, do that. Yeah, that's fine. We'll still we'll have it so that you did that as they run up. I'm not I'm not going to re-roll their attacks, is what I mean. Okay. And I don't think you can kill them with an acid splash. Uh, Ayla is still paralyzed, by the way. Uh, okay. Dexterity saving throw on them, please. On one of them. Please. One of them, and then it deals damage around them, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, that is going to be a twelve versus a thirteen. So. Oh, so fail. Awesome. So that is one d six acid, and it hits the other one as well. Perfect. Okay. Five for both. Five to them both. Okay. You brutes, leave her alone. Brutes. So that you both, you see them both, um, kind of shudder for a minute. Uh, and one of them, the the more primal looking guy that hit Sentry, does seem incredible. Like, like it kind of like really tears him up. Like this acid's burning through his cloth. He's like, ah, and that's when he strikes Sentry with such power that he like just rips apart this faceplate. Basically, uh, Quill, what would you like to do? And would um, you want to move away, or are you just going to stay in? Or as this guy runs up to you, because you could have basically backed off. Could I have run away? Yeah, yeah, as yeah, he yeah. was running at yeah. me. So you can back off like up to there. Um, so you're like backing, pedaling, and he's running towards you. And now you. I assume my blade ward. Out. That goes at the start of your next turn, the I end think. Of my turn. Oh, okay. Um, so you would have halved that damage I got you then. Okay. Quill. Uh, I would like to cast Magic Missile. Okay. Uh, and I would like to direct each of them, because I can do them to individual targets. So you get three them. missiles. You can either put them all at one target or you can split the targets out. So you can do one missile per person or you can do all three at one person. Okay. Um, so I will do. Two on the one that's currently right in sentry face, mm -hmm. and one on the one that chased after Lucius. Okay. Uh, so that's so a guaranteed 2D4 hit. Two D four plus two. It? Yep. It's just it, you just roll straight damage. Uh, so against the one where you're doing two missiles, it's two D four plus two. Okay. So that's a four and a two. So six plus two is eight. Eight damage. Yeah. This guy. Nice. Nice. Blown away. Um, um, and the final one is a three plus one, so that's four. Four points so that to guy that Lucius. guy. So he is still alive. Um, so has he chased after? Because um, the way it works, I'm gonna not give Sentry that injury because you would have killed him before he got to attack her. Ah, okay. So, she yeah. had a flash of her face being torn up, but yes. it didn't happen. Turns out it was that was my fault. I like literally was like, oh, Ayla misses her go. Jumped. At Everyone the L. else misses her. Yeah. Go. It wasn't like a special entry or anything. Will then. Stay where I am, but I'll cast Shield of Faith. Uh, no, I won't. Uh, no, you can't because you cast your, your action was Magic Missile. It's a bonus action, Shield of Faith, but ah. I won't do it. Uh, can't so do you, can't do, you can't do a second spell as a bonus action. I'm going to change oh, that from the last campaign. Okay. That, last campa that was me being extremely generous last campaign. Oh, okay, so it's one spell per turn, I didn't realize. It's, it's, well, it's one, full, one action spell and then one cantrip as a bonus action, if you can cast it as a, as a bonus action. Yeah, no, I can't. That's so, yeah. Okay, that's fair enough. That makes sense. In that case, that's my turn. I'm done. Okay, cool. Oh, sorry. It's if you like, so you can cast Shield of Faith, which is a bonus action, and then you could cast a Cantrip afterwards, which mm. is a full action. But you can't do two full leveled spells. Yeah, yeah. No, I can't. Uh, I'm explaining more that than badly. One spell slot per yeah. Yes. Thing. Okay. That makes um, sense. Cool. So you move up to there. So after Quill, then it would be the Elves go. So he would move up. Um, he can technically probably just get to there and then use a short bow, which is what would have dealt damage to you previously. Mm -hmm. That guy's dead, that guy's dead, that's good. Dead. These guys, however, are just going to move up to basically here. And the then they're just going to pepper guys. you guys with uh, longbows. Um, sentry, they're going to shoot at sentry. That's going to be a hit just. Um, and then the other one would probably shoot at Lucius. Because again, like the other ones, you guys are pretty far away. Uh, that's going to be an 18 to hit Lucius. Yeah. So that's going to be four points. That isn't resisted, though, because it's after your turn. Shit. Um, bum, 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 Back down bum, I go. Bum, 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 what, are you? No. No, I'm at two. Remember how you said you can heal stuff? Yeah. Yusuf's no, going to run over. Oh, one on the healing. <laughs> Three hit points for Lucius. Three. Like, it's Lucius. And, like, she, like, rushes over and, like, raises her hands, like, we should run. This is too bad. Um, Maybe. Uh, after her go, it is Nova. Uh, I'm going to shout at her, return our belongings and we will leave. And then I'm going to Eldritch Blast the guy in front of me. Okay, Eldritch Blast. Nice. 21. 21 hits. 
Five. Five points to that guy that you hit in front of you. Um, oh, he's just barely on his feet. Like you blast him, and again, like the second blast kind of like stuns him. He should have made attack against you on his turn, which I'm going to do now, uh, which was only a 15 to hit. That's exactly. Okay, so you take uh, five points as he does jab this kind of long blade into you, but then you blast him. You kind of like, as he stabs you, you blast him with the other hand. He kind of gets thrown backwards. And you can see he's like woozy on his feet, but he's like gripping it, like the blade tightly. Uh, the woman at this point is just like, she. you see her like look over the one, two, three of her dead and just looks up. You have killed my family. I am not letting you leave here alive. Can I reply? Maybe, on your next turn. <laughs> yeah. um, so after Nova, it is Sentry's go. Sentry seeing that you're sort of like injured, rushes up, two. Axe blade goes wide, clings into the, uh, into the tree next to her. She has to pull it back um, as she desperately <laughs> looks offside. The tree collapses on him, right? Yes, no, it does. <laughs> um, you see the woman Continuing her, she does appear to be, she's holding her hand and you can see whatever spell has got Ayla, like there's, you guess that she's concentrating mm. on it, right? Like she's having to concentrate as she basically moves up. Um, and she like looks around, I'm trying to think what she would do here. Give us a stuff back? <laughs> no. She's holding the spell and she's just like, looks around, tries to weigh up the scenario. <laughs> there are more of my scouts out in the woods. They will be returning by daybreak, even if you manage to kill all of us, which I highly doubt. They will track you down and find you and kill you. Whatever you hoped to accomplish here, you have failed. All you have done is enrage me. Um, and then you see her kind of like, she closes her hand, she closes her eyes, and you watch as her form begins to... Oh, cool. what, do you, what do you mean? Fur begins to grow as she transforms <laughs> into a large bear. Oh! Druid! No! There are bears here! <laughs> Druid bears. Uh, Ayla, at the end of her turn. Is, is she still able to do that? Uh, Surely, yeah, if it's concentration. You keep concentration in wild shape. This is oh, something Laura can do as well. Oh, she's still got her bare well. paw hold, held up to her. It doesn't hardly touch, she just needs to maintain concentration, which you can do in wild shape. Okay. Um, Ayla fails her next saving throw. She's still paralyzed by whole person. Uh, Lucius. Oh my, Siasco. <laughs> <laughs> this is awful, we should leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try and throw uh, a fireball. At him. Okay. Right. Yeah, just make an attack roll with fireball. 14 plus 5. So that's a hit. And that is a D10. Oh, D10. 7. 7. Boosh! This guy is engulfed as you hit the fur and leather of his um, outfit and it just erupts into flames. Um, and just, yeah, just kind of like engulfs him. He's like, ah, 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 and like collapses to the ground. Come on, so let's go. <laughs> right behind me, brilliant. <laughs> okay, so you I'm guys are like backing off and running. Okay. Um, after Lucius, okay, I've got the proper initiative down there. I messed that up really badly last turn. It is these guys go, but it's only this guy left. Um, the one in front of the sentry. Yeah, and he's basically going to turn around to sentry and try and fend her off. Um, but doesn't get, like, this time, like, ding, like, just bounces off the armor. Uh, Quill? Okay, uh, seeing the bear thing now, I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt. Okay. Uh, at the bear? So at the bear, so I have to okay. make an attack. Okay, cast Splutter. <laughs> Ooh, that's a 22 <laughs> to hit. Oh, that's a hit, yeah, for sure. Hit and a half. That's 4d6 radiant damage. Oh! Uh, Do you need 2d6? I'm just going to reroll. Re I'll just re-roll. Really good. Oh, oh. That's pretty good. Uh, 16. Okay. And I, is that plus anything? No, it's just 46. 16 damage. 16 radiant damage, no okay. less. So you hold out your hand and you just utter that you're like, please, Hesper. And you just, you feel this kind of like, that gold, you see that golden humanoid, that hand, 
and then as you launch out, this blinding like ray of golden light just flies out of your hand, Ooh. impacts into the bear. It singes and burns huge portions of its torso, but it just is like... <laughs> but I do have to make a concentration check. Oh, I made it angry. Which I pass. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Uh, Sister Yusef will run up. Um, yeah, everyone, was... group up Are you one still place? really hurt? Uh, well, yes. five. Oh, less than half, yes. She Hit. can't She can't get to you, she can only really heal Lucius. Uh, that's, no, no, not me. No, yeah. no ten, uh, Lucius, yeah, yeah, ten hit points. Oh. She's like, this is the last of my energies. Thank you. Oh, by the way, the last of my energies was used on the bear. Yes, cough splutter. Six, <laughs> six seconds. <coughs> Nova. <laughs> God, I need my blade. Um... Well, yeah, I mean, like, at this point, like, your arcane focus, you don't know where it is. It could be on the shaman's it. body. I need it. You don't know where it is. <laughs> I need it. And there's this very angry woman uh... who has transformed herself into a bear. <laughs> cool. I don't know. I don't know who to hit. I don't know who to well, go for. Well, hit. you got six seconds. Come on. Right okay, now. Okay, um, I'm going to go for the man right in front of me. Okay. Eldritch um, Blast. Yeah. Nice. 12 plus 5 is... Hits. 17. Four. It's enough. Oh, he's gone to. Uh, so you watch as like this last, you've been pummeling this guy with these bolts, and then as he turns around to face Sentry, you see your opening, you just lance out, it hits him in the back, throws him forward, and then Sentry just whoosh, cuts him down as he kind of stumbles past, um, as he just collapses to the ground, and now you can see this kind of field of bodies in front of you. My mother always said that if you steal, you will face the consequences. Be punished! He's dead. Um, no, I'm shouting at her. Sentry will turn around like, what are we doing? Ayla is still in danger. Protect her. Very well. Walk over their corpses. <laughs> uh, Sentry literally like runs like right in front of Ayla and then stands at the ready in front of this bear um, and uh, probably casts Shield of Faith on Ayla, I would imagine. Uh, after Sentry's go, it is... He's dead. The bears go. Bear, bear, bear. <laughs> bear, bear, bear. Charges Ayla and Sentry. Uh, she looks at... Um, the Ayla doesn't seem to be a threat, so she's going to kind of like look down at Sentry. Uh, just roars, and then will attempt to bite and claw Sentry. Mm -mm. Both of which hit. Uh-oh. Even, no. even with her high AC, these still go through. She's got like a million AC. What are you talking about? How'd she roll a million? Oh my god. <laughs> you watch as this bear woman just boosh, one claw just rips like the shield out of Sentry's hands and like throws her down and then she just bites down and you hear the sound of like metal and wood snapping. What? And Sentry goes down. Sentry! Literally that was, hang on, let me just make sure I've got that 100% right because that was eight plus one. <laughs> yeah, that was 22. That's li literally her full HP. It was exactly lethal. Yeah. God. So you watch the sentry <laughs> just like boom, and then collapses. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Um, Ayla <laughs> still fails the saving throws. This whole person is like really oh. done her over. Um, oh, fuck me. Lucius. And she needs to take damage to break. They're both going to die. What do we do? We killed a bear. We killed a bear. Well, I think that this is the top of the round. We're probably going to have to see this next time. See what? what? <laughs> it's like literally, we've got to read, we've got to read donations. I've got to do the solution. Later. But Katie's worth a rolling. Steve's She's got to go because he's got to catch his train, and I need him but to do the puzzle solution. Down, yeah, I, I need him to do the puzzle solution, though. So. Well, we could break to do the puzzle solution. Can you just now, throw that up and then yeah. come back? Well, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Round. I did, we can't go too late because we've got to finish for your cinema and stuff. Like, Terps asked people oh, okay. to finish on time. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we're going to have to finish this next week. Sorry, okay. guys. Oh, no. Uh, Steve, if you can just throw that up in front of Matt Cam, the solution. There it is. Uh, and oh, then, cool. Where's my notes? Spiral. Spiral. I need my notes to explain stuff. Right, so, yeah, if you can take a picture, Kim, thank you. Uh, quick thing, so obviously that's very intense, but we're going to jump in. So, there's a couple of steps to this solution from Brilliant. Thank you very much, Brilliant sponsor. Um, there's a couple of steps to this one. First, if each statue must have an equal share of the gridded space, we need to calculate what that is. There are 64 squares, which divided by 4 for the statues means each god needs 16 squares of space, which includes their statue. 
If you try and make squares or regular shapes and try and fit it in like a weird game in Tetris, you'll find that there's no way that you can overlap them without them covering either another circle or you can get them in the right way that they get an even amount of space, right? Um, if you try and use things like a circle or a triangle, you don't get an exact even amount of space. So you kind of have to think a little bit outside the box. And then one of the solutions is a spiral because it basically you still get the exact same amount of squares, but each statue is only included in one space and everybody cool. gets an even amount. So there you go. There's the answer to that one. Nice. Um, wow. I hate running play characters when they're not here because I feel bad when I can't roll saving throws. Uh, um, well, actually... Have you rolled max damage on... <laughs> Sentry just went down as well. So. Yeah, so keep in mind, right, that bear, this is, Laura used to be able to turn into this bear. It gets two attacks. Uh, its bite does 1d8 plus 5 damage. Its claw uh, does, I think, 2d6. Jesus Christ. Yep, 2d6 plus 4. Hmm. Druids, OP. 1d8 um, plus 4. How much health would you say a bear like this would have? Some. Okay. How injured would you say the bear <laughs> looks? Let's read donations. <laughs> Let's read yeah. donations. Right. Get yeah. my arm back for this. Oh, <laughs> I got it. You need to. How stop long are you going to keep that gonna, up? You're going to hurt your arm. I'm not going to hurt my arm. I, I need it. Trust me, I need it. It's important. Okay. Otherwise, uh, I'll mess up. I'll begin and then yeah, pass around sure. my iPad. Yeah, just pass them around. So the Nord's house today at the same time for another great stream. Thank you very much. Subject Delta eight one four donated. Hey HR, missed the last week as I was at LARP. Had to get used to not knowing anyone or anything about the town we play in again. I'm sure Mark can understand as a LARPer. Had one slip up, I blame on the heat. Lol, PS Tom, I hope you like the pick of my bird. Thank you very much. Quick thing, thank you, Steve. I know you got to head off, dude. Thank you for coming in. I know you're not feeling well. I will we'll sort it all it out. Thanks, man. Cool. Mr. Altissimo donated. Do did the thing. <laughs> May miss the end to take my dad to the airport. Hope everyone is doing well. Come on, coming off a DD high, but my hill dwarf monk soloed a bear here. Bear here? Three levels higher than myself, meant to scare me off. Lesson learned, don't party split. Thank you very much. Thank you to Olo Rem One for end $10. To Thank you very much. Yeah. Hanny yeah. Becky, can't watch live today as I'm on a train on my way home from Bristol Pride. I'll definitely be catching up as soon as I can. I'm still sending love your way. Thank you for all the all for helping me with confidence as I've never managed this weekend otherwise. Well, thank you very I much. I think that was Hanny who comes to some here and oh, yeah. Come and stuff. You yeah. see that quite a lot. Yeah. I'll do one more. Caitlin's Corner. It makes me so happy to see the Oscast supporting Pride. Already ordered a shirt which I'll be wearing for my first pride, being out as trans. Hope you're doing well. Much love. Awesome. Thanks very much. Uh, Subject Delta814, thank you very much for the donation. I really like the injury table you have, Mark. My gaming group plays Pathfinder, not D&D, and I'm so glad you're using your own table instead of one for, let's say, Pathfinder. That table caused my monk to have his left hand cut off temporarily. Mm -hmm. How do you get a hand cut off temporarily? I guess you get it fixed later. Put it bound back on, Long. like my just, arm. If you, put it, if you hold it in place, the skin grows back. Well, it's in Resident Evil, right? You just staple it back on, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Hira Sefi, thank you very much for the donation. Hi, Rollers, it was my birthday this week, so have some of my birthday money. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy bur Can't watch live today, so I'll be joining the VOD squad this week, but I really hope none of you die to the Wild Elves and their little burb. Level two. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that, that because you decided to try and break into their camp, that was not a bad, that was like a super hard encounter. Like you were going into like where they were sleeping and like had numbers, like oh, that wasn't fair. So we fucked up. Well, not, no, you wanted to get your stuff back and I the stealth to. roll was a fucking natural one. Like, yeah. Or like a super low roll. Like, I don't think there were any natural 20s. Uh, that's, no. That's Jerking off to trot, donated. Uh, a Dutchman, as a Croatian fan, watching the final because I can, not watching trot, which I hate a lot, feel really fucking bad, man. Little poem there. That's nice. Nightjar donated well. Three episodes. We had some good innings. Serious though, don't do this to me, Mark. Please. Also, Tom looks like he's being questioned about a murder. Poor lonely table boy. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Where were you? Where did you do it? Where were you? I didn't do it. Swear to me. <laughs> Not a lot donated. Uh, loving the new series, especially episode three, the mugging of Suv Suvona. Did Lucius offer the shaman his nectar card too? It probably has loads of points on it. That's pretty funny. As all aura it probably does. Donated. I would say please don't make Quillick into chicken wings, but they can't because he'd just be a chicken wing. <laughs> uh, don't read out this next part. Oh, that's absolutely fine. No worries, my friend. Uh, Institute donated. Little chunkies. Thank you very much. And Severarca donated. There, there, Nova. Look at Lucia's silver lining. It's all going to be all right. You'll be brutally tearing those brutes apart and reclaiming what you've lost in no time. I hope so. Ooh. Um, <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Tegzy, um, can't watch live, but want to send my love to you all. Thank you very much. See you in the VOD. Uh, Hyoshi213, 
Hey guys, can't watch the stream live because World Cup final, and because <laughs> of this, my amazing streak of watching live comes to an end at a whopping two. Time to start over. Just gonna have to watch the VOD later. Until next time, here's some money. Well, see you in the VOD, and enjoy your brand new streak. Enjoy your new streak. Weird, isn't it? it? Enjoy your streak. Um, Dark Day 41. That's a lot of net ones for high rollers. Mark can fight it all he wants, but Bodega Dwarf is the best dwarf. Magical items talking to Kim, nothing could go wrong there. Uh, no beds, no cutlery, getting roughed up by uh, getting roughed up by the mean elves. Hashtag daddy would not approve. No, not at not. all. Daddy. daddy. Daddy's boy. Uh, Varys. I'm really enjoying the new oh. series and I'm really looking forward to seeing how these characters develop over time and all the adventures If we survive. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Don't. Hope you like new characters. Uh, Hope Dancing Nina likes on drawing. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> Dancing on fire. Uh, couldn't watch live today because I had to make the, uh, a trip to the magical land of Ikea, uh, but I'm making sure I get this dono in. See you all on the VOD. What is it with my campaigns in episode 3 and level 2? Because I'm pretty sure this is around... This is around little, this I is thought it's 16, uh, level 6. Uh, episode, episode 6. 6. Episode 6. This is, oh, so you still got 3 episodes. Oh, great. <laughs> half oh. the time we get fucked. Uh, I'm on 15 health. Kill off the new yeah. player. <laughs> it's fucking Sentry who's down and Ayla who's really beaten. Yeah, no. You've been great, but... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, Dabadees, title to this episode, The Gang Gets Looted. It's Always Sunny in Arois. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> who's Danny DeVito? Yeah. Uh, Dragstar. Oh. Uh, hello, <laughs> High Rollers Light V 2.0. <laughs> Just a quick donation to... Just a quick donation to thank you for the plug last week. Being awesome and an emotional anchor in a week filled with anxiety. I must say, Kim, you look wonderful today, but that t-shirt looks beautiful. Where can I get this? Store.yogscast.com Stop pointing at your boobs. I can't it's help it. That's where the logo star. is. Thank you. The rockabilly look. I'm always a big fan of the, the rockabilly head scarf. Thank you. That is most Good. kind. Thanks. Why cool. Are you <laughs> um, RC1804. Oh, I'm saying thank you for the compliment. It in a weird way. Can we get inspiration for that's that? That's my genuine, <laughs> that's my genuine face. That's why it's a bit weird. I'm giving you a genuine Bird Boy's not being given out as inspirations. He could have been doing inspiration, ins yeah. inspiring word this whole time. Could have been healing. Bard better. I've got one left. I've, I've, I've used only got one. two. Yeah, I, I used one in this combat. Little sweet Bard Boy. Anyway. RC1804. Hi, High Rollers. Hope the new campaign is going well. Nope. Hope I'm still catching up on the previous one. Yeah. We survived that one. Uh, I just wanted to ask you, uh, ask if you or the Oxcast have considered coming to an Irish convention like Dublin Comic Con or QCon. We I never meant. rule it out. It's just the opportunity needs to arise. It's also yeah. not our decision. It's generally down to like Mike, yeah. the source events and the old cast, yeah. yeah. The Oxcast thing. Yes. Uh, thank you for your donation. Bob, 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 Bob. I, Lord Ouija, has returned with more wealth to be chunked at the causes I find pleasing to me and my master and my lord. The god, emperor of man, may he return and kill these filthy xenos and heretics that plague Imperium. P.S. Trot is a heretic. Burn him. Cool. Okay. <laughs> and... I'd go down willingly. Not so zero zero. Um, definitely saying that wrong. Um, evening high rollers, loving the game tonight. Here's a bit of love for my favourite people on the internet. I'm starting some fan art, but I'm crippling, uh, cripplingly indecisive, so I guess I'll start with whoever reads this. There you go, Quill. Good luck. The um, hard one. So I guess I'll start with whoever reads this, uh, but I will get to everyone. Thanks for being awesome. Thank you very much. There we go. Thank you, Shannon. Fucking hog. Uh, thank you what? to Metamanu for a quarter hundo, but no message. Thank you very <laughs> much. Are too many? <laughs> Shut up. I think I did the same Shut thing. up! You guys kept interrupting me! Stop hogging. <laughs> Technically, you're interrupting the fans. <laughs> All right. uh, Fico35 has Six donated. Down. Been a fan since the first episode of. Like <laughs> Paul. And this was the first episode I missed willingly, Croatia in the World Cup Finals. Also, hashtag it's not coming home, hashtag sorry not sorry, hashtag proud Croatian. You guys were lions, but we were dragons. Really cheered for you to win third. You didn't even get third. <laughs> well done on the sporty ball goal. Who hitting. won? Can someone in chat say, ball. someone in chat tell me what the score is. Uh, Ace of Thorns has donated. Guess this is one timeline out of four. 1,500 million. million thousand six hundred and five in which century didn't get defaced. See what I did there? Nice. But hey, oh, apparently France won 4-2. Yep. Uh, but hey, uh, two players down temporarily and you just keep it coming. More hugs to go around and I guess, 
I guess. Hugs. I'm not going to wreck on it, but actually, Sentry would have taken the injury because the elves should have gone before Quill. I caught it up again. That's the problem, man. Like, Double if you're a DM, There's you make mistakes. You've got a because, lot like, to... I had, like, yeah. a lot to deal with there. Exactly. This was an unplanned encounter, too. Wald Wasser has donated. Wald Wasser? Uh, I'm not trying to bribe oh, anyone yeah. here, but Sentry's going to make it, right? You're all going to make it. Wishing you all the best of luck for next week. It's all week. down to the dice rolls and decisions. I will say this. I rolled Sentry's injury saving throw. She passed. So there's no injury for going down. Oh, okay. uh, and Nightjar has donated with the, you know that weird face that you get when you type in Monka S? Monkaz. Monkaz. Yeah. Pepe. Is yeah. it Pepe Monkaz? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I enabled that in... BBTV, isn't it? Oh, I don't, I don't use that. There we go. We're all caught up. Yeah. We're all good? Yeah. Nice. All good. Thanks, everybody. Sorry for hogging go... the donations. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go turn off the stream. Oh, little lonely boy. Trot's going to go turn off the stream because um, Steve's had to rush home. Um, yeah. Wow. One episode. Yeah, that was good. That was very unexpected on my part. Like, I was like, oh, okay. That is, that's what you guys want to do. Cool. Yeah, I mean, we need to get the stuff back, right? Yeah, so absolutely. Cool. Yeah, you absolutely do. But, like, yeah. it's just, that's the thing, right? Like, a lot of, and for anybody at home who thinks that, like, all oh, Mark, play, it's like, no, I absolutely, like, I knew that what this camp was, that this camp I had planned. It's always been on this map. Yeah, so. and it's like, I knew how many elves were going to be there, and it's like you guys were like, "Yeah, let's do this," and trying to play the, oh, we the up characters the stealth, who aren't there. The stealth yeah, thing, like so. well, and even have you done that? Because nobody's actually spotted Valley yet, and she did. And she did uh, imply that she was going to come sneak away. Ooh, um, so okay. she might have gotten the stuff, but you guys don't know, and you also. It's not like you can really back out the fight now. You're in yeah. this position where it's we're like committed. Ayla's paralyzed. Um, Thing he's done, so you know, Sentry's now down, so you're kind of committed into the fight. But yeah, we could run. How fast is a bear? Well, you, yes, what you, you just could... want to leave Sentry to die and, and Ayla, who is currently paralyzed. They're not here. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> I mean, we're friend. your friend. friends. I, yeah. I'm gonna film that and send it to the girls. It's too late, it's not in, it's not been recorded <laughs> on any live stream anywhere. Trot, can you hear me, <laughs> friend? Are you ready to end this madness? Shut this shit down. <laughs> <laughs> I would like him to give us some warning. As chat says, bears are pretty fast as well. So. No, no, no. Bears are fast. Yeah, They're but faster I'm, than all of you. I'm faster than a... Not as fast as a bird with one arm. Why don't you try punch it in the mouth? I'm going to assume that, that works. Trot is in place. So we're going to say goodbye. Bye. And hopefully he's going to end the stream. Just wave for ages. So goodbye. See you Bye. next week. See you next week. Bye.